What up everybody, welcome to 10 more minutes, I'm Chris. Today we're playing Octopath Traveler. How's it going, Danica? What up, Roy? Hello, Jack, Frosty. Hello, friends. I think I saw Blue up there earlier, but Octopath is currently locking my screen, so I'm not able to slide on over to the chat right now. What's up, everybody? Hello, hello. Ashen, what up? Hey. <laughs> Been a while since you've been this early to stream. It's all good. Thank you again, Blue, for subscribing as well. It's good to be here. It's good to have you here. Yeah, exactly. Um, I've been wanting to play Octopath for a long time just because visually it looks really great. And uh, it's been a long, long time since I played like a real like a JRPG style game. Um, so I'm excited. I'm eager to see what it has in store. I know it's a long one. So there's no guarantee that we're going to finish it. We'll see how viewership goes. We'll see how uh, interesting the story is to stream. I heard there's a number two coming out soon, so... We're gonna, we got all that to, to play around with. How have you guys been? How's your day been? How's your weekend going? <clears throat> Eight Road Voyager. That's what it is, Jack. That's what it is. Uh, I told the... Uh, I told the name to Goldfish, and she was like, that's a dumb name. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I, I think you got to understand that there's eight travelers, eight adventurers, and, and and you're going around, and you're, you know. It's a J, JRPG, so it's got to have, like, a silly name, right? <clears throat> you want to play Octopath? You love the aesthetic of the pixel art? Yeah, it's really appealing, right? Plus that, like, uh, kind of, like, macro. Or is it, I think it's maybe, like, macro, or the way that they put the uh, focus, at least. You know what I'm talking about. It's, it's appealing. What up, Calc? Yeah, the sequel was announced, Blue. Are you not watching any of the, uh, any of the directs or anything like that? <laughs> You're finding out here about all the new games? <laughs> you beat Clam Man today. Who, who's Clam Man, Jack? Which one's that one? Which one's that one? What up, Zerk? Uh, Roy, you filled out the tax form for Itch on your main account? Nice, cool. You watched the last one? That's where it was. Was it not? <laughs> You're impatient for two packages to arrive tomorrow that you thought would arrive today? That sucks. I hate that. It's always great when they show up early, but it's a rarity. More than not, it seems that they're always showing up later. And it's like, man, just give me an accurate, like, delivery date. Just give me the accurate delivery date. Then I won't be disappointed when it doesn't show up on time. When you try and give me like a, oh yeah, this is gonna be showing up, but we're gonna say like 24 hours earlier before it should be expected. Something I've noticed too is that trying to go online, say like you're going to like a Target or like a retail place. And they're like, yeah, we have it uh, in store. It's on this aisle, you know? It's like, oh, okay, cool. And then you get there and you're like, it absolutely is sold out. There's nothing here. You look online, you're fresh, and they're like, no, we have, like, 12 of them. And you're like, no, the fuck you don't. I don't know why it didn't get updated. <laughs> but, I mean, like, I, it was that way for a long time. I assume by now it would be fixed, but it doesn't seem like that's ever been the case. Um, you had a party for your grandma? Nice, Roy. Really? Nice. Hell yeah. You finished Dishonored 2 and started Dishonored Death to the Outsider? What is that, Tanika? I've never heard of that one. Right on, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Um, you just started the form in March, but never finished it. He says, I submitted it in March. Oh, that's crazy. No, I never did Dishonored, but what is Dishonored Death of the Outsider? Not Dishonored, but Death of the Outsider. What is that? I don't know what that one is. <laughs> I'm not sure what that one is. But no, I didn't do Dishonored. Hmm. Small spinoff. Cool, cool. That's awesome. Let's get into the game. Yeah, the visuals here are really cool. Hopefully, we'll see where we can put the face cam. Hopefully, it'll be fine where it's currently at. But we're going to jump right in. Basically, DLC size content that was sold as a third game. I hope it was cheaper than a full game then. Hello there, Scholar Cyrus. Does it matter who we start with? Your name is Cyrus. You are a scholar. 
Off to a great start. You teach at the Royal Academy of Atlas Dam. Um, I had to make sure that wasn't Altus Dam. Like, Elden Ring ruined me now for that. And though you have numerous admirers, your only true passion is the pursuit of knowledge. There is so much I would learn. One day you realize that an invaluable tome has vanished from the library, Royal Library, piquing your insatiable curiosity. <clears throat> uh, latest is on a game in which you try to kill the god of the void, the black eyed one, the outsider. Oh shit. <coughs> it sounds, it sounds heavy. Uh, so it turns out you never played this. I thought you did, but it was bravely default. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I get a lot of that with uh, JRPGs a lot of time. It's like, oh yeah, I definitely played that. And then you look at it and you're like, I recognize none of this. What game was I thinking of? <laughs> like, oh fuck. Um, can't name the characters? Probably not. Let's see, wait, let's go back. New game. There's eight people. Do we just get to choose wherever we want to start? I guess so, maybe. Is there a recommended, like, path to play through? Probably not, right? I mean, if that's the case, I'll just start on the one that it put me closest to. Cyrus. It was free with the Xbox Game Pass, which was like $1 or $2 because you reinstalled your Windows update to Windows 11. Nice. I heard they're getting rid of some, uh... Were they getting rid of what, Windows 9 or 10? Uh, soon, I think, right? God, I didn't feel, Mike was telling me about it, but I don't remember the num numerals. Numerals. Final Fantasy VII is your favorite of the Chrono Trigger games in the Dragon Quest series. Yeah, it's the one with Goku, right? <laughs> Dishonored's awesome, so, though you think the sequel is not really needed. Feels like another sequel that Bethesda published. Yeah, I don't, I didn't, I didn't get to play it. Um, we can, we'll try with Cy Cyrus off the start. Since he was the first one here, fuck it. Oh yeah. They're getting Windows 8 removed. Okay, yeah, so everyone has to be and nine or so higher. Was that Atlas Dam was founded some two centuries ago. Is the whole game voiced? Oh, please let it be voiced. Indeed, our fair city-state is among the longest standing on the continent of Ostera. Maybe only the cut cut scenes are voiced, and like NPCs and stuff aren't. But I'm already digging this. Then, <laughs> yeah, the pixel art is gorgeous. Yeah. There was another city-state with a history as long and proud as our own. I feel you, Zach. To a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Eight years ago, city-state came to ruin. Got it. Hey, Jack. Nice. This isn't Putt Putt Saves the Zoo. We might have to play a Putt Putt game because it's a big, it's a big meme now. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Thirty-five months, dude. That's fucking huge. Blue, I saw you subbed also. Thank you again. I don't know if you if you heard my thanks or not, but I do appreciate you doing that. Thank you. Um, wasn't needed, but the game is great. Also, the story of it makes sense and is great for the uh, uh, what's it called, Dishonored? Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Now, who can tell me its name? How about you, Therese? I was wondering what its name was going to be, or wh why they hadn't named it yet. <laughs> I um, I think it was. Now, now, no need to get all flustered. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Hmm. Yes, Professor. Voice actors seem good. Let's see. They're very breathy. Hornberg? That is correct. What are the symbols? Isn't that like pain or anger? Was he not wanting her to get it right? Ruled over by a royal family said to be descended from priests <laughs> of an ancient and long forgotten religion. What up, Sam? Welcome back. 
The answer to multi-choice always goes AC, DC. I agree. I think that if you don't know the answer, you might as well meme it up and hope for the best. 25% chance, right? Minimum. <laughs> Your mama's from Hornburg. Is that right, Zach? <laughs> that means I also uh, come from Hornburg. One of the original clans that inhabited the Flatlands. Hmm. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the Flatlands at the time? Your Highness? 69. The histories have it that eight clans did live in the Flatlands in those days. That was my, that was my second guess. <laughs> Correct you are, Your Highness. Hey! Wait, why is she getting all the praise, even though the other one was correct, too? And you guys, you seem ticked off, Cyrus. It was a time <clears throat> of great strife here in the Flatlands, as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grandport invaded these lands some two centuries ago. Grandport. And At Hornswoggle. The time, the of Grandport sought to exert their influence over territories inland. They were more excitement marks? Like he was being loud? Oh, no, I guess I could see that. Okay. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes to put aside their differences and unite against their common foe. I know exactly what you're talking about, Zach. You ever seen those retro 3D display cases? That's what this looks like? Yeah. Well, it's like a shadow box, but it's like a 3D style of like a Mario RPG or a Chrono Trigger or Chrono Cross, you know. Uh, I've seen those. Those are hella cool. Um, I think they're I think they mimic it in a, in a weird way where they're like doing 3D and pixel art and they're I don't wait until we get out into like the, the light in the wild too, where it does like a almost like a uh, selective focus on things. Um, I'm eager to see how it turns out. I've seen trailers, but. Oh, but look at the time. <laughs> uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. Don't forget to read chapters three and four before our next lecture. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. God, it's got to be hard to be in a class of only two people. I mean, what if you hate them? Who are you going to pass notes to? <laughs> Are they both royalty? Or is it just the gold haired Princess Mary? Right. Thank you, Jack. Uh, we love lectures as expedition dumps. Yeah, we're in school. <laughs> I'm here to avoid school with video games. I may not have started with the correct, I don't think it was a correct character to start with, but. We may not have started with the uh, most fast-paced, quick-to-start character. It was just the first one the cursor landed on, or close to, so I was like, okay, let's try here. Ah, ah. Press B and... Wait, what? Press B and hold to skip. Ah, Professor Albright, Mercedes from the Royal Library came by with a message for you. Seems today's your lucky day. You've been granted permission to enter the special archives. Oh. Uh. Splendid. That, that's all he's going to do? You're not going to do the, <laughs> the rest of it? All right, I'll finish it up for you. I just don't know if I can do the accent. Finally, I can begin my research. This is going to be really hard. We're going to get a lot of accent loss here. <laughs> the library is just outside the palace. I'd best make haste. And I'm no good at, like, European accents and... Irish, Scottish, things like that. I'm fucking piss poor at it, so this is gonna be hilarious! <laughs> uh, bully exists, classic JRPG. Oh, classic JRPG bully, you know? Yeah? It really was an, uh, uh, an achievement of uh, fortitude, uh, trying to wiggle my way with Sam through that one. That was a hell of a gameplay on YouTube. Uh, the radar. Use the radar in the bottom right to check the area and find your heading. Nice. Continue the story here. Side story starting point, save point, and hidden item. Other equals X to the neighboring areas. Press right bumper to turn off the radar on and off. I will leave it on. I like that. I love that they do that because it put, picking this game up and setting it back down, you know, a couple times a week, 
We're gonna get uh, a little, a little lost. Hello, sir. Can I talk to you? May I speak with you? Do you not have a? Sp oh. <laughs> I'll leave you to your to your business then. <laughs> Let's see, let's go downstairs. I get, maybe we can only talk to people with speech bubbles. Oh, uh, Therese, right? Or is it Teresa? I think it's Therese. Mm. Trying on him harder, eventually he'll speak. He's like, oh, this makes me most uncomfortable. And please get off my leg, Cyrus. Uh, uh, uh. Rufus. Yeah! Princess Mary! And then Therese. <laughs> Why is Therese hiding? Oh, I also heard that the soundtrack in this was dynamic too. So I'm eager to see what happens. Uh, oh, thank heavens, you're still here. I thought I had missed you. Uh-oh. Uh, what can I do for you, your highness? <laughs> the truth of the matter is... If you can spare the time, I had a question about something we learned today. But of course! It's gonna be a little hard to hear. I mean, it's good that I'm hearing the voice again so I can get an idea in my head of what they sound like again. But to only do a little of it, I'm like, oh man. <laughs> but of course, your highness. I would be my pleasure to answer anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing a dating sim. Or they do like the little, the little, uh, notated, uh, like vocalizations. Oh, yes. Ah, oh. after all, my role as your tutor is as important to me as any of my research. Unfortunately, I cannot spare much time. Is the question a quick one? Indeed. Hopefully it's not copyrighted. God, we'll have to fucking see about that one. Uh, yes, professor. It will not take long. I was just wondering about the ancient religion of Hornberg. Pray tell, what did they worship? I believe it was horns. <laughs> a very astute question, your highness. Roll as a tutor, maybe get some pino. You gotta, you gotta make sure your tutor is uh, up to pooter. Uh, However, I feel that nearly all the texts detailing the nature of the religion were burned and lost when Hornberg fell. Huh? I, I see. A shame, that. We're teaching about a place we know nothing about? I do, however, have a theory of my own. I believe that the royal family of Hornburg were guardians of an ancient power. Mind you, this is not idle speculation. My theory is based on the fact that... Uh, oh, oh, oh! Interruptions! Therese, what did you do? Or are we just to indicate that they're still talking? That's probably what it was, huh? <laughs> did I see your message about the DS3 miracle? I did not, Roy. I did not. Where was that? <laughs> oh, in Discord. I haven't. I've. Uh, I've only vaguely checked Discord recently in the last like 24 hours. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to look for it. Um, I'll check it out. Uh, is Arnold Bruder Orchestra in this game? Arnold is, uh, he's not Smokestacks, right? Different one. I think Arnold's what, the main character? Is that right? <laughs> Let us continue the discussion another time. My apologies to keep you, Professor. <clears throat> With pleasure. Right on, Roy. Uh, no need for apologies, and it would be my pleasure, Your Highness. As soon as the, uh, speech bubble goes away. Look at the symbol above their heads. It looks like it looks like a lion doing like the walk like an Egyptian fucking move. <laughs> that such questions occur to you is a sign of a sharp and curious mind. <laughs> Thank you. Your lectures on the history of the realm are most fascinating to me. For if I do not learn of our past, how can I hope to lead my people to a bright future? Indeed. It's good. A most admirable philosophy, your highness. The people of this land are truly fortunate to be led by one of such wisdom and kindness. As I am truly fortunate to have the opportunity to serve in some small way.
<laughs> you are far too kind, Professor Albright. I am proud to be your student. Cyrus Albright. Ah. Uh, oh dear, I'm running late. Good I shall depart now. Uh, pray not, pray do not forget your assignment, your highness. Farewell. Of course, Professor. I must scuttle off now. Secretly a crab. <laughs> ah, Therese. <laughs> it does look like that, right, Calc? Uh, hello there, Therese. Most weapons do at max about 70 bleed points. There's a bleed miracle in DS3 that causes 210 points of bleed since most bonus bosses are weak to bleed it. Cause a bleed to proc on every hit. That's fucking insane, Roy. Uh, did you have a question for me as well? I mean, no. Good day, Professor. <laughs> I thought she was gonna run past him anime style, and he was gonna be like, woo, 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 woo. spin around. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I like their uh, their their Egyptian lion. Hello. It's nice. Uh, the palace gates lie just to the north. To the east, you'll find the Royal Academy, where the realm's most promising thinkers receive their education. Okay. I'm gonna keep going down. Actually, I guess I won't. I'll go back up, because both of those gods seem like they had something to say. Am I being spying on? <laughs> right here. Hello? Ahead uh, lies the audience chamber. If you would seek His Majesty's counsel, pray proceed. I right, we're gonna... I guess we're not. I was gonna say we're gonna talk to him, but holy shit, that is a small walkway to the king's area. <laughs> the lighting looks great, right, Ashen? I think so, too. I like that kind of, like, uh, bloom in, that, in, the, in the focus that kind of goes in and out as you move around. That's tight. A little bit of... Oh, chests? You wouldn't mind if I steal from these chests, would you, sir? Say something if, if you wouldn't. Or say something if you would, I guess. <clears throat> Herb of Awakening. Inspiriting Plum. And Healing Grape. Definitely not of the uh, variety from Elden Ring. I'm not going to be eating any eyeballs here today. Are there romance options? I have no idea, Roy. I have no idea. I don't have the slightest fucking clue. <laughs> A save spot! Yes, let's do a save. Now saving, please wait. Level 1 Cyrus. I wonder how the game goes through the different paths. Like, do you travel through different timelines, or... Are they all individual from each other? Hmm. Uh, just south of here lies the castle town. It's a lively place. Okay. But the main story is over this way. Uh, Russell just got isn't cut out for that sort of work. Whatever was he? Mm, move along now. What's up with Russell? What the fuck was happening with, with old Russ Russ? It's me, what up, Striker? Sauce. I had to look over to make sure I didn't miss that you did a fucking voice <laughs> mod. <clears throat> if there are, oh no. Yeah, yeah. The depth of field is really cool. Uh, you were thinking, Striker? What's up, dude? How's your how's your weekend been? What were we thinking about? What I remember from the trailers, each individual character is the only storyline that, story that may or may not connect. Interconnect. Okay. Tight, tight, tight. Uh, uh, good day, Mercedes. Oh, no, it's Cyrus saying it. I was like, who's Mercedes? Uh, Cyprus Albright here to browse the special archives. <laughs> oh, Professor Albright, you're quite... You're looking quite eager today. I guess I don't need to do any voices now that I'm a baby. When I heard that the original copy of the Church of the F Flame, a complete history with an IE instead of a Y, had been donated to our archives, I simply had to be the first to see it. <laughs> I see. You were thinking, baby? <laughs> You're more on top of our collection than I am. Just sign here. Is that right, Striker? With pleasure. With pleasure, indeed. That's how he sounded, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what up, Calc? What up, Strike? Um, 
<laughs> uh, is something amiss? <clears throat> Actually, for someone known as the most brilliant mind in the Royal Academy, uh, <laughs> when you talk about books, you're as giddy as a schoolboy. Sure. <laughs> this seems a little overactive, but right on. <laughs> when you put it that way, yes. Much as a child is fascinated by a new toy, I am titillated by the prospect of acquiring new knowledge. Completely titillated. <laughs> Tantalized, even. Uh, right, the expression on your face says it all. <laughs> I assumed there was going to be this much uh, reading, and then I immediately assumed there wasn't because of all the voice acting. And now I'm immediately back to where I was. That was a lot of immediates, but it happened very quick and in succession, so. Anyway, everything seems to be in order. Enjoy your quest for knowledge, Professor. Many thanks. Uh, many thanks, my dear. I most certainly will. Ooh, we get like dust, little particle physics going on here. here. Nice. You're getting triangle strategy vibes? Yep, yep, yep. I, I believe uh, there's a lot of similarities between them. Um, I haven't played triangle strategy either. Aren't they coming out with it or like a re-release or, or something like that soon? Or triangle strategy 2, maybe? Same kind of art style story is awesome. Love the combat. Go play it if you would like these kinds of games. I think they're... Aren't they doing like a new release or something with it? Or like a, maybe a second game? I don't know. How odd. The tome is nowhere to be found. <clears throat> Did someone return it to the wrong shelf? Huh. Not here either. An interesting dilemma. These archives are strictly guarded and curated. Wherever could it have gone? Uh oh, footsteps. Professor Albright. I thought she fucking stuck up a gun. I thought she walked out and she was just like, all right, this is where your story ends. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. Professor Albright, the headmaster would, uh, would see you at once on account of this fucking six shooter in my hand. <laughs> of all the times to... Uh, oh, well. Might I ask you for a favor? Hmm? What might that be? The truth is... The tome I mentioned before seems to have gone missing. Could you locate it for me? I see. Missing, huh? I'll begin looking at once, Professor. I'm gonna hit my fan, but Many it might thanks. fuck up my camera. I hope it, it does it. It looks like it may not have, but we gotta wait and see. Yeah, this is, this is a stick-up! It's a book stick-up! <laughs> Stand as straight as the, as the spines on the books! <laughs> Don't you turn another page! Many thanks, my dear. Mm-hmm. That's my shit. All the librarians be like this. Cyrus Albright, <laughs> by your request, sir. He read it, not me. Well, I think we're in a cutscene again. You enter. Oh, maybe I will. Ashen, I completely missed that you had followed. Thank you. I need to double check the audio on... Follows. Although that might have been during the 10 minute countdown. To set up. Looking at it now. I completely missed that. I apologize, dude. Thank you for following, Ashen. I appreciate that. I just got a notification email on my phone. I was like, what is that? Ash and Knight followed. I'm like, you did? <laughs> Thank you, friend. Cheers to you. I'll have to look into it, Striker, then. Yeah. I do enter. Master, Headmaster Yvonne. <laughs> the guy in the uh, fucking portrait. My apologies for summoning you on such short notice. Vaughn's up to no good. How might I be of assistance, Headmaster? Hmm. That treatise on arcane studies you published. What in the gods' names were you thinking? No. Publishing blasphemy. Sir? I do believe I made 
my hypothesis perfectly clear. Right on, Strike. I'll see you around, dude. Go get your, go get your food. Enjoy. I'm not talking about your <clears throat> hypothesis. The gall of you publishing such things. No! Not the baby voice! Wait. <laughs> Have some baby. Why would you put baby voice on me while I'm watching a cutscene? It's, it's gonna be so wasted. Why would you do such a thing? How dare you publish without peer review? <laughs> exactly, Sam. <laughs> you went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our special archives. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I, I get what the issue is now. It's, those are supposed to be secret. He went through and cited a top secret document when he shouldn't have. We got a, we got a real maggot here. In those tombs is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. Not the actual treasure, not the, the gold, to the, public at your or the land. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. Fuck this guy. I am fully aware of the value of those tomes, Headmaster. <laughs> it is for that very reason I would share the knowledge with my peers. You are to share nothing. That wisdom is for the Academy and the Academy alone. Did he just straight up go into like a fight position? He's like, ha ha, all right then, have at thee. But that goes against everything. Enough, Cyrus. Damn. Who could have guessed that he was uh, a baddie with the red eyes? <clears throat> the headmaster sees knowledge as a metal or precious stone, something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Hmm. Says he, uh, Ashen says uh, that I did it a few days ago, but it had not, so I fixed that today. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I, I thought you had been following before prior to, but yeah, I'm I'm glad that you're re-following or following again for the first time. Thank you. That, that's awesome. This one's for you. <laughs> Knowledge is power, and power is to be hoarded. An unfortunate attitude, indeed. Mm, well, if you got eight clans, apologies, Headmaster. or whatever you call them. Again. Is there anything else you need of me? Hmm. That is all. You may go. <laughs> He's mad at me. Wait. One last thing. He also has the memory of a goldfish. <laughs> what up, Ash? How's it going? Special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do there, I would do so quickly. This isn't totally a setup, is it? Good gods. It's as if he enjoys watching me suffer. <laughs> Thank you for your concern, Headmaster. In that case, I'll be on my way. And we're off. I'm gonna do something real quick. That chair looks uncomfortable. I actually didn't look at it, but my back has been fucking killing me lately. I bet it is uncomfortable. Excuse me. Headmaster? Mystery person? Oh. Is that the What's same? The matter? Therese, yeah. Uh, y yes, what is it, Therese? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, um. It's, it's about Professor Albright, sir. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm smelling some stitches on some people because they out there snitching. Oh, look at the bushes. Look at the bushes doing a little wiggle wiggle. I like that. Just a second, guys. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to, based off of where we've seen the camera stuff for right now, I'm going to move my face cam up just a little bit to kind of clear up some of the visuals. Um, and then I'll just give it a hot second. Hold on. Let me just move that around. You never know when you're doing a new game, right? You just never know. I guess I could have looked it up, but I don't think anyone was streaming at the time when I looked it up, like, way late at night. That was not it. <laughs> uh, there we go. We'll just we'll move it up here. That's, that's probably good. I like that. That looks fine. 
If it turns out once we start fighting through things, then we need to move it, then we'll, we'll do it then. We'll do it there. Yeah. Oops, wasn't on the right screen. Now we're good. Uh, Tis going, says Ash, working on a clay commission to listen to the Packers game. Nice. I'm not into sports ball, but uh, clay stuff is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Just really need that A, Headmaster. <laughs> is this triangle strategy? It is not. Uh, Ash, it is um, Octopath Traveler, but I can see the resemblance you you speak of. Wait, hold on. Can I go over here? There's got to be like a like a chest somewhere over here, right? No, I guess not. Fuck, I goofed up. I see where we are though. Do I get a sword yet? Can I cut down a Can I cut down a bush? Do Legend of Zelda style? I've been too motivated by football either in the past past few years. Well, I mean, you know, maybe time to move, uh, you know, hobbies. Seems like you got a lot on your plate though with all the hobbies that you do. So maybe you get to spend more time on that if you don't keep your Sundays the football. I mean, sports ball. <laughs> this is the Royal Academy. Atlas is At Atlas Dam's pride. The damn pride of Atlas. Enjoy. Sure is rainy. All are welcome to engage in the pursuit of knowledge here. Well, thank you, ma'am. I'll be seeing you around. Let's do another save real quick. You know you gotta. It's a JRPG. You gotta save at any point in time. You're totally allowed to. <laughs> Just in case you get fucking jumped. Let's go down to the... What was this? Like the living village style of area things? Yeah, there we go. Hello, Hello friend. The Royal Palace is just a ways north from here. Okay. Sure. Oh, wait. The, the story is telling me to go up. I'll go up then. Is there a run button? That looks like a run button. It's pretty much what it's been. Days goes towards uh, your work more than anything. I mean, that's cool, though. It's exciting. Like, for if you consider your work to also be your hobbies and stuff, you know? Yeah. I've got a friend who does uh, fantasy football. And uh, I'm more mad that they don't have uh, knights and barbarians fighting it out amongst each other. Wait, did I, did I totally miss the spot? I think I did. It's just normal ass people playing fucking sports ball. It's boring. <laughs> I'm going inside because we're about to close up the uh, library. Can I help you? No more ghillie, suit, ghillie, ghillie suits and uh, potato cannons. Yeah, you never know when uh, it, like a full astroturf man comes out like a like a bushman just bruf, shoots out and fucking hits you with a goddamn shirt cannon. It's shirt cannons versus potato guns today. Uh, shirts and skins, and uh, it's gonna be a right bloody one. <laughs> top top fucking speed like two hundred miles an hour on that fucking old pig skin. <laughs> just getting shot around. That's good, Ash, that you're getting commissions and stuff. That's tight. Ah, Professor Albright. A moment of your time. Did you have any luck finding the tomb? Tome? Tome? I'm afraid not. Hmm. Say it is not so. Well, this is most unfortunate. One might conclude that it had been stolen. Actually. Uh, Professor. Taking books out from these archives is strictly forbidden. And as you know, the keys to the vault are entrusted to only a select few. And quite honestly, it would be easier to steal the crown off the king's head. What was that? That was weird. I like uh -huh. screen flashed for a second. There we go. An impregnable <laughs> impregnable vault. A disappearing tome. Ooh. It would seem we have quite the mystery on our hands. Is Cyrus going to be like a like a full on uh, Sherlock Holmes style type of deal? And the mysteries of the world are meant to be solved. Or so the scholars in me, scholar in me says. He's a little guy. He hangs out in my pocket. Uh, would you not agree? Hmm. If it had been stolen, I would say it's a job for the city guard. Ha! No. But I can see that you won't let it out, or let it go, until you've cracked the case, as it were. Indeed. <laughs> it's going to become Columbo, yeah. <laughs> you could say that, indeed. A habit I just can't seem to break. 
Once a puzzle is placed before me, I simply cannot rest until I've worked out a solution. I see. Well, far be it for me to stand in your way. I wish it was a little faster on the animations between talking so we could keep it up. I feel like, uh, like if this game's like 60 hours, I feel like a good three to four hours of it is like the in-betweens. Um, I get it if they're emoting something, but like sometimes it's just like sitting here waiting for something to happen. <laughs> yeah, just one more thing, so I saw you do it. <laughs> what up, Pat? <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, just one more thing. It must be tough being a genius. Uh, that it is. Leave it to me. Aha! I'll not deny it. Worry not. The tome will be back on the shelf before you can bat an eyelash. She's like, wink. Is it back? Take care. <laughs> right. Thanks. Best of luck in your search. It's gonna be a hundred-hour game by the time, time I'm done with to it. Do some research. <laughs> and the game is afoot. It is football, maybe then. A game of feet. Now, where, where, uh, where to begin my search? I suppose I should inquire with Mercedes as to the keys of the library a sword, stored. The guard at the front door would know who has been frequently frequenting the library lately, as might my fellow scholars. Um, because it doesn't have the brackets around it, is he just saying this right outside, right next to the guard? <laughs> or is he doing it in his head, like with the brackets would normally be at that spot? <laughs> Yeah. So this is Octopath. Never played it, so I'm interested to see what it's like. This is Octopath, Pat. Yeah, it's uh, it's good. We haven't found anything yet, um, but we're solving a mystery. It's going to be good. Yeah. Then mayhap I should pay the headmaster a visit as well. Utilize each character's unique action to overcome any obstacle. Try pressing X in front of a townsperson. That's his unique option. Oh, scrutinize. Cyrus can scrutinize and glean new knowledge from the townspeople. Testimony. Evidently, we chose the only path that doesn't seem to have combat on it. <laughs> yeah. I sure hope the god doesn't hear my super secret plan. Okay. Press X in front of a, in front of them. I see. Scrutinize. Let's talk to him and then we'll scrutinize him. Russell just isn't cut out for that sort of work. Whoever. Whatever it was, he... Uh, move along now. Scrutiny, 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 scrutiny. <gasps> Did he just fucking flip his cape? Like, ha-ha! <laughs> Let's see now. Testimony was the exact thing that they just fucking showed. Age, 41. I can tell based off my... scrutinadious vision. That's definitely a word. Testimony. Of course I've got a key to the archives. And no, I wasn't sleeping. I was resting my eyes, is all. But even if I was sleeping, what would it matter? What kind of fool would bother stealing a worthless tome, anyway? The guard situation. Information gleaned. Gleaned? Gleaned. Gleaned. With an N. Is it N? Most intriguing. You glean new information. The guard situation. Koi, what up? Converted from a prime sub to tier one sub, thank you. It is September after all. I appreciate that, thank you so much. Welcome in, Koi. Have you been able to play, uh, have you been able to play Octopath? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Koi coming in, dropping in the big fucking gifted subs. Thank you, Coyote. Holy shit. <laughs> I was literally just trying to chat, and I was like, wait, 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 wait. Coyote, dropping in the big numbers. Thank you. Congratulations, Drunk Ducky, Taga, Pineapple Mage, Default Titus, not Titus, Titus, Ashen Knight, Mr. Winter, Drunjun, Tired Cappuccino, Miss, Ms. Hyde, Ms. Hyde, Ms. Hyde, and some Aqua. Did we get that? I get that right, Sum? Shit. I don't remember. I'm sorry. You're playing a favorite game. Fuck yeah, Koi. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. I've been hyped for this for a while, and then I saw that they were doing Octopath 2. So I was super fucking stoked to, to try and get some time out on it. Yeah. 
Thank you for coming in. Thank you for gifting all the subs. Congratulations, everyone. And Coyote, thank you. I really fucking appreciate it. Just so you know, though, uh, the gifted subs, unfortunately, do not get the discount from September. But I think you knew that probably from checkout. But just so everybody else knows, too, it's an unfortunate set of events that they're not recognized for some fucking reason by Twitch, but I have no control over it. <laughs> I very much appreciate that, Coyote. Thank you. That works. It's usually some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, 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 some. I'll, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, some. But I'll, I'll stick with some in the meantime, if that's cool. Uh, still worth. Yeah, Coy, thank you. Que some Que? Some guy and a few others. <laughs> that sucks. I'm sorry, some. Some Que? Oh, man. Uh, how's it going, Coy? What you up to? How's the family and everybody? Can we scrutinize? We can scrutinize everyone. Can I scrutinize these guards? I can. Scrutiny. Let's see now. 39. Once in charge of protecting the king, this guard suffered a serious leg injury and was since transferred to a calmer post inside the grounds. Through, uh, though the injury healed long ago, he hasn't mentioned it to anyone. Enjoys the serenity of his new post. Information gleaned and a hidden item. Oh, did that... Most intriguing. Hidden item. Okay, it showed up on the map. Fuck yeah, that's cool. Hell yeah, look at that. A light soul stone. Delicious. Oh, did the items not carry over between my playthroughs? Probably not, right? I'm gonna have to be pretty liberal with my potion usage and stuff then, I'm sure. <laughs> Yeah, Zach, scrutin' and lootin'. I actually don't know what it is, but you love the aesthetic? Yeah, it's really appealing. The way they have, like, the atmosphere perspective, I think, maybe is that terminology? But yeah. You never started with him in a few, uh, you, in your few replays? This is new? This is where the cursor landed. This is my first time playing, so it landed right here. Oof, indeed, striker. <laughs> um... So I just thought maybe this was the first one that they wanted me to start with. <laughs> um, it's because it looks like a small scale models like from the Mr. Rogers show. Oh, okay. Damn, Striker dropping all the oofs up in there. <laughs> How was your food, Strike? Um, is there like a, is there a correct starting character, Coyote? Jesus, Striker. <laughs> <laughs> Scrutinize. Let's see now. Born and raised in Atlas Dam, this old widow now visits this place every day in memory of her late husband. He's waiting for it. <laughs> Even after she passes, she wishes to be by her husband's side. <laughs> Just like the relief of the king and queen in the Academy's library. <laughs> Most intriguing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> She's a widow. Her husband died. Oh! <laughs> Striker, you okay there, buddy? <laughs> it just keeps coming and it don't stop coming. Oh, I didn't even know you can go down here with the other... Until the item indicated. That's cool. I have to really pay attention to, like, heights and stuff. Hmm. Most interesting. Scrutiny! Let's see now. No item or individual that passes through the palace gates escapes this guard's notice. Rumor has it, however, that his dedication is not rooted in any sort of loyalty. It is rather born of the desire to perpetuate and protect his own unscrupulous business of selling trinkets to collectors of royal mementos. A hidden item. How did I get that from that? Oh god, we're going everywhere. <laughs> Through 25 bits, synergize the coin redemptions. Very effective. <laughs> I might have to put a, a longer delay between some of those, uh, some of those longer ones. <laughs> Oof is a very short one, but yeah. <laughs> Striker, goddamn you. Uh, he was, was he oofing in Morse code? 
I don't know if you can oof in Morse code be because of the delay and stuff, but maybe. He was like, please help. I've burned my fingies on my tater tots. Age 42, the eldest son in a family that has served the king for generations. He takes pride in his job as a god and would risk his life to protect the king in his palace. His royalty has earned him the king's utmost trust. Another hidden item. Where could it be? Who is stashing away all these secret items? And can I find them accidentally or do I have to unlock them to be able to find them? I'm just going to start like slam bamming eight. Oh, I didn't even go over this side there earlier. Thunder soul stone. So we have a light one and now we have a thunder one. <laughs> your left hand is becoming heat resistant from guitar because you're shredding too much. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what, what do you want? I don't have anything here for you. Honestly, I don't. Oh, yeah? Do you not, child? I'm clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking. Maybe we can't do it until we scrutinize. Age nine, a young boy who sneaks into the palace to steal valuables. He sells his spoils to provide a life for himself and has yet to be caught. In actuality, Queen has already noticed, but has turned a blind eye to his actions. Hmm. Yeah, okay, evidently, unless we find the item, we're not allowed to, to actually find him, find him. Oh, fast travel. Transport yourself instantly to any town you visit. Is that the place you want with the go with the cursor and then press A? Or, yeah. And fast travel to cities, towns, and villages. Fast travel may be unavailable at times depending on your progress in the game. Nice. I've searched nowhere. <laughs> How do I start? There we go. Inventory. Let's go to equipment. We got a buckler, right? Let's, uh, let's, uh... Oh, boy. Maybe he can't have a buckler. He can have a buckler. We're a mage of sorts, it seems. Oh, is access staffs? Okay. Optimize! All we have is the buckler. So. That's, that's all we that's all we got. I don't know what else to do in the meantime. I am curious to know about what these items do though. Healing great restores HP to a single ally. Okay, so we got our we got our healing potions. Camera focus, no! Is he back? I can't tell. I can't tell. <laughs> I think you have to actually uh, unlock people to get the hiddenness. Camera did a silly. What is it doing? Look me in the eye. Look me right here. It's on eye focus, and I think it must have fucking checked around somewhere. Camera. One blurry boy. Huh. I gotta swap over and see. Why the fuck is it not doing that? Okay, now we're good. Now it looks like we're good. According to what I see. Yeah. There we go. Hey, we did it. Fuck yeah. There it is. I don't know why it does that. I apologize. Thank you for letting me know, too. It's beautiful. <laughs> Blurry no more. We got, a, we got one non-blurry beautiful boy. Up in chat. <laughs> Restores HP to a single ally. Let's get the game back on there. There we go. Nice. Restore SP to a single ally. I'm going to assume that's magic. Inspire and spiriting plum. Okay, the restores SP. Cool. All of life. Restore or revives and restores HP to a single fallen ally. I thought that was going to be the plum or the plume. I thought or the, the plum, I guess it was going to be. All of life is our phoenix down. Okay. Herb of Awakening awakens a single sleeping ally. Thunder Soul Stone deals lightning damage to all foes. Nice, okay. Single use item. Deals light damage to all foes. Odds and ends fetches a modest price of soul. Probably sellable or tradable. Staff, buckler, ordinary hat robe. Okay. Pretty nice. Side stories? No. Okay, that looks pretty good. <laughs> what up, Willow? Hey, hey, hey. Did we already scrutinize? We already scrutinized. But we didn't scrutinize the old man over here. 
Evidently we can't because he doesn't have a speech bubble. That's fine. The combat in the game goes as deep as you want it to. So deep. So deep. I want that deepest combat. Some of the end game big bads are so deep and good. <laughs> are they? Are they like, uh, like super crumpshy? Oh boy, everyone's in here. I'm interrupting a whole ass fucking class. My bad. Scrutinize! <laughs> the son of a prominent family in Atlas Dam. One of the gods responsible for protecting the throne room. Rather than earning his post, however, it was granted to him as he has no merits of his own. Nepotism, baby. <laughs> a hidden item! Gleaned. Now we, we want maximum depthness. Yeah, what are your crimes, old man? Tell them to me! <laughs> what have you done in your life? <laughs> Scrutiny! Born in the slums of the coastlands, this god was recognized for his skill and now protects the throne room. Despite holding the same position, he is ridiculed by the other god simply for his origins, causing tension between the two. Most intriguing. He must have a hidden item somewhere. <laughs> oh shit, is it upstairs? It's gotta be upstairs, right? It's gotta be like in this room. Hey, look at us. We've got the fucking olive of life. Uh, nepotism. This one's gotta be in the class. Hey, look at that. Who would have done? Smoke up. What a real hidden treasure. <laughs> Uh, we don't want maximum depth. I think I, I think we might. All right, now that we scrutinized everyone here, let's head out into the town. We'll be here for 20 minutes and figure out what to do for one turn. Probably. Yeah. Right on, right on, Willow. How was uh, Sea of Thieves? Was that pretty cool? Oh shit, do I, wait, do we have more people in here I can get to talk to? <gasps> more people. Scrutiny, scrutiny, scrutiny. After I talk, anyway. Piratical. <laughs> ha! Oh, Cyrus, I'll trust you not to interrupt my research. I'll trust you to be scrutinized. Let's see now. <laughs> Testimony. The key to the archives. Oh, I haven't got that. But I'm not surprised someone stole a tome, considering what they're worth. I've gambled debts myself, so I understand the temptation. Russell's situation. He's in debt, maybe? Russell, what's going on? You need to rustle up a little cash, buddy? Mm, we'll have to see. Right? Have you cracked the case yet, Professor Albright? Not yet, but I will. Testimony. Only Headmaster Yvonne of the Guard stationed outside should have a key to the library. <gasps> Archives. <laughs> Most intriguing. Only the Headmaster of the Guard possesses the keys to special archives. Hmm. Oof. Oof, indeed. Hmm. I'm about to figure this one out. The Thieves in the Sea. Oh, that sucks, Blue. That sucks. Last minute, uh, people dipping from raids. Ugh. Right on. That's cool. To, I guess we can't go inside here yet, right? No, we we can. Hmm. I see nobody to speak to with. Uh oh. I'm gonna come in and throttle all the children. Where is she? Where's the tome? I don't know. <laughs> Hello, sir. Scrutiny, scrutiny, scrutiny. What is it this time, Cyrus? Scrutiny. Don't look. <laughs> I'm fabulous. Testimony. You know full well I have a key to the special archives and that I would never be so foolish as to let it fall into the wrong hands. In any event, I have had no reason to peruse those tomes in quite some time. Hmm. He has a key. This is true, but the dust gathered upon it suggests he's... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is a slow reader. 
<laughs> yeah, just enough bits for one more. <laughs> Thank you for the oof, Striker. Uh, that should be all the information I need to solve the case. It's not. I mean, it's the headmaster and the guard, right? But of course. Well, <laughs> of course, it all makes sense now. There are only two keys to the archives, one belonging to the headmaster and one to the guardsman. The guardsman fell asleep. The headmaster evidently has so much dust on his. Whose key was used to unlock the archives? The Probably the guards. Because yeah, the headmaster's got dust on it. The headmaster's key is safely locked away in his office. Furthermore, he hasn't visited the archives today. He locks a key away with another key. A key. On the other hand, the guard has been acting suspiciously of late. Even sleeping while on active duty. Do we? It would be all too easy a task to lift the key off his person. Hmm. <laughs> so it is possible that the god is our man? Uh, no. Yeah, exactly, Striker. Oof, 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 oof. No, he would have no motive. He was framed! The culprit must be someone who understands the true value of the tome. <laughs> Which is to say, one of my colleagues. And most likely one who has accrued a frightful gambling debt. That is Which M. Means that... Put it all together and our villain is... That gentleman. It's the only option I have. Russell! Yes. Indubitably, the shifty scholar Russell. How dare you, Russell? <laughs> yes, I dare say my logic is foolproof. It's, it's not. I don't think. I think you're wrong, buddy. <laughs> Shall we begin? No, not Russell Brand. Jeez, Jack, it's Russell Stofers. Now all that remains is to find our man and make him confess to the crime. This game's got fighting in it, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Word has it he's been doing his research underground these days. Oh. Oh, you... Okay, it's cleared out. Nice. Who boarded up his uh, his little mine shaft earlier? Press and hold to skip. No, I think I'm good. I think it's time I did some field work of my own. Here comes the fighting. Russell Crowe. <laughs> Gotta punch all the people. <laughs> Saving your progress. You never know when danger might strike. So be sure to save often. Keep an eye out for this monument. You can find save points in towns, overworld areas, and dungeons! And we do a little quick clack, and we're good. He dies. <laughs> yeah, that's some amazing confidence you got there, friend. Cyrus Albright. Yeah, we've talked to six people, and he was like, fucking got it! <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, oh, oh boy. I haven't done any fighting yet. How does it work? Is it, is it random? Or do I actually see enemies on the map? Did we do like a Pokemon opening? It was like... Nope, nope. Okay, I think we got an answer. <laughs> Herb of Clamor? Was that what this said? Study foe. Battle basics one, breaking enemies. Exploit your foe's weakness to turn the tide of battle in your favor. Attack your foe's weak point. Okay. To lower their shield points, reduce shield points to zero to break your foe. It's fight time. Ta-da. Thank you. <laughs> Cyrus can utilize stabs, fire magic, and ice magic in battle. Go to Scholar Skills and choose Fireball or Ice Wind to see the spells in action. Once he has used more weapons, select the tech. Wait, 
once he can use more weapons. Select attack and choose the one you want to use with the directional buttons. Got it. He's vulnerable to ice, it, see, it seems. Ice wind it is. Fuck you. Lantern with axes for arms. Jesus. Okay. Ice wind again. Yeah, 41. Is that really the best we got for, we got on him? Shit! Ice wind again! 41. Is there a, a, like a Super Mario RPG active defense and attack system where you press it at the right button at the right moment? Music equals mwah, chef kiss. Yeah, exactly, Koi. I like that ice magic effect. Yeah, it looks cool. Uh, maybe it's not ice. Maybe it's just attack now. It looks like it's attack now. He's an ice sentinel? Wait, wait, did I get it wrong all this time? Or was that the shield breaking down? That might, mm, that might have been the shield breaking down? Battle Basics 2, boost mode. Enter boost mode to augment your powers. Break your foes to drastically reduce their defenses. Press the right bumper button to enter boost mode. And the potency of your attacks and abilities will surge. Right bumper. Enter boost mode. Break them to get defense. Boost mode once they're broken. Extra damage. You gain one boost point per turn. You can spend up to three boost points to boost your character three levels of power. If you use boost mode, you will not get any BP on the following turn. So I can stack up the... Okay, stack up the three is probably the best thing then. Let's stack it. Where's our... Wait, we're at five BP. Okay. Well, I fucked that one up. Ice grenade, no! Course of action. The logical course of action is to get a fucking heal out, homie. Let's try this. 500? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> wow. I haven't tried fire on it yet. Oh, wait. Does it? Is it not telling me until I try different things? I think. It, I think I uh, give up. I think I just build them up up to three. I'll try fire on him. He is an ice thing. I thought it was literally saying it was only attack as the, uh, as the height. Full fireball. Fuck this guy in particular. Jesus Christ. Okay, so they get revealed over time. I get you. Thank you. I was like, wait, this, is, this isn't making, this isn't, this isn't working out. <laughs> Thank you, Koi. Thank you, Koi. I appreciate that. Uh, level two, Cyrus. Items obtained. Fuck all. <laughs> now a pile of ash, indeed. So there's a treasure chest there. We got to go back and around and down to get to it. Probably through here. Oh. I've done my research on you. Aha! So we're learning more as we fight them. What next? Interesting. Fireball it is. Oh, yeah! That's better than 41. Okay. What is the logical course of action? Fireball again! You want an open casket? No, he can't have it. Oh. Maximum three charge, right? But we burn up one each time, but we don't earn one after we use it. After we use a BP, I think it was. A, a break, break point, break, break poopy. <laughs> How's it called? <laughs> Lots of new information going on here. <laughs> I'm a slow learner. Have mercy. Wind attire. That seems cool. What is, what is wind attire? Wait, no wait. There we go. Optimize. Wind attire, what was it? Oh, fuck yeah. That's incredible. That's hella good. Basic hit, charge up BP, right on. Yeah, it does seem like that, right, Zach? Uh, actually, I'm gonna go up, up. I've done my research on you. It's a bony boy. 
So it looks like attacking him does regular damage. Let's try a regular attack. He's weak to an attack. Oh, I'm also weak to attacks. He's been broken. Quickly. Strong attack. That was cool again. Oh shit, he's not dead yet? I don't want to waste all my spell slots on a basic skeleton. Three! This guy's got a lot more... Uh-oh. Wait, poison, I can't use boost? It looks like I can't use boost. You've been broken, sir. Since you haven't gone down yet, I think maybe now is the time to try some different stuff. That was a hundred motherfucking damage. Holy hell! <laughs> Skelebones. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're gonna back and you're gonna go cook some pork chops? Do it! Ashen Knight, let us know when you come back. I wanna know how they turned out. Did you pan fry them? Did you, did you, uh, what do you call it? Did you, uh, shake and bake them? SP. No, we actually love. Wait, the level up gave us full HP. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. Oh, fuck. There's a lot of battles here. <laughs> a fire one, it seems. That looks like an axe, axe ability, maybe? We have a staff attack. Okay. Fire, huh? I'll see your fire and I raise you some ice! Ice wind. Bring the shield stuns them for a turn so it easily heals and maintain turns. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That helps out. Yeah. Should I build up one more attack? I'll do one more attack. Nice, they're broken. So now I can build up Scholar skill ice, right? Fuck you! 319 jeevers. Jeebers. So would he have not attacked after that next round because he was broken? Oh, wait, I guess. No, I guess technically, yeah. I see how it worked. Herb of light. Nice. Oh, we don't on HP up in here. Hello, sir. Are you a friend or a foe? If you need anything, just say the word. Nice. A friend indeed. Should I just sell? Oh, oh. Odds and ends? Probably. Wow, wow. 700. Modest price? I'm assuming anything that says modest price is just a sellable item, right? Probably don't need in a row, but it's only 15, so... I'm gonna sell both. Because that's what it's reading to me. There we go. What we got? What do we Oh, fuck. Healing groups are only 50. Hell yeah. Let's pick up... Oh, joke. Maybe not that many. <laughs> Let's pick up like, uh, like 10 of them. Yeah! Inspiring Plum. Probably pretty good, but at the same time, they're 240 a pop. I'll hold, I'll hold off on them for now. Yeah, I'll hold off on them for now. Ah, oh, bats! Bats! It's fucking bats. Fucking bats. Oh, goddamn. Okay. I don't think I was ready for this. Let's see how you guys do against motherfucking fire! Oh, they did pretty okay. They did pretty okay against motherfucking fire. Jesus fucking Christ! Healing grape it is! That's a lot of damage. I need to get one of you down quick. Let's try ice. There we go. Weak to ice, huh? All right, here comes the motherfucking snowballs then, babies. Fast mofos? Yeah, they attack fast as fuck. We even have plus 22 speed on our uh, wind gear, whatever it is. Job points. You can now learn new skills. So skills and then learn skills. You can acquire new skills here. Open the menu. Okay. 
Skills, huh? I'm down. Let's learn some new skills. What do we what do we get? Skills with the wills. Let's do it. Scholar. Got it. Oh, lightning. Okay, I see what we're doing. Lightning bolt deals lightning damage to all foes. Reveal the HP in one weakness of a single foe. Deals fire damage to all foes twice. Deals ice damage to all foes twice. Deals lightning damage to all foes twice. Mm. Unlock after earning four skills as a support skill. Okay, and we're at two out of four. We need 30 in order to level... Wow, it's just straight up any new thing. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna choose Lightning Bolt. Seems like having an assortment of different skills here available is good. Analyze may be fine, but if I fight enough of the same thing, I think I'm gonna learn it decently quickly. Uh, although revealing HP is pretty nice too, but I'm still so early, I don't really want to waste a whole s like a whole turn fucking around with that, you know? Uh oh, uh oh. Hello, friend. I wish to be welcome. Uh oh, is that a fucking barrel full of blood? No, that's probably like a covering on it. Might be a barrel full of blood. That took long enough, didn't it? What? Uh, Russell. Uh oh, Russell, you've been caught, friend. Uh, Professor Albright. Uh, are you always in the habit of barging into your peer's office while they're working? Barging? Was I supposed to knock on the fucking Excuse cave door? <laughs> My apologies. I would have knocked, but I didn't see a door. <laughs> oh. Too good. <laughs> Apropos of nothing, mayhaps you heard that a certain tome was stolen from the archives. <laughs> I haven't the faintest clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Russell Brand from All Dogs Go to Heaven 2 starring Gordon Freeman? I don't think that's who that was 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 in there. It's been a while, but I don't think that was who that was in there, correct? Come now, Russell. Playing dumb is just going to drag this out for the both of us. So let's cut straight to the heart of the matter. You're a thief, and I can prove it. <laughs> What the hell's you can? <laughs> the truth is. Unfortunately for you, at precisely the moment you were trying to sneak back with the key. Hmm. Your friend the guardsman was just waking up from his slumber. Perhaps you cast sleep? Magic? Uh, uh, I... uh, but uh, that's impossible! He was asleep, I'm positively. Ah! Ah! Oh. Keeping up on your friends is somnolence. Somnolence? Somnolence? What the fuck is that word? I've never seen that goddamn word in my entire life. Somnolence? It's like violence, but sad. <laughs> Are we old chum? I was a slip of the tongue. I'll tell you, I know nothing about this God's damned book. It means sleep. Okay. Thank you. Is that so? I figured you'd say as much. Then perhaps you'd care to accompany me to the Academy to prove your innocence, of course. Uh oh, that's a fight stance right there. D damn it! Damn it all to hell! It was the perfect plan, if not for your bloody meddling. And those kids, too. And their little dog. I could have had it all! Ah! Ah! That man is fucking huge! Excuse you! <laughs> Excuse you! <laughs> that dude is fucking huge! What the fuck? <laughs> Big Russell Brand. We'll call him Russell Biggend. <laughs> he worked at the gym at the library. I think he worked out between scenes. Holy shit. 
Thank you, Willa. Excessive sleepiness. Got it. Um, karate hands mean business. Yeah. Chop, chop, motherfucker. Or am I teeny? No. I'm perfectly sized for a man. Ask Jen. <laughs> uh, question. When it says vulnerable and has lightning lit up and colored, uh, that means that lightning is the one that he's vulnerable to, right? The color indicator is only indicating the icon, not like its level of vulnerability. If it's not lit up, it's not vulnerable, but if it is lit up, lightning's yellow, fire is red, blue is ice, right? Weak to it, yes, thank you. Alice in Wonderland syndrome, yeah. He's just in the foreground? I mean, I don't I don't have no idea. Yeah, he's, he's very in the foreground. We're way the fuck back there. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad I bought that fucking lightning skill. Lightning to everyone on the field. Go fuck yourself. Right now we're fighting. Oof. We're fighting uh, against a, what's it called? Um, we're fighting a losing battle. They get a lot more attacks than we do. We need to make this even. What next indeed? Scholar skills. See if we can take them all out in one. Well, at least the two other ones out. Nice. We broke them. We got a big one coming in, baby. A big one coming in. Big lightning bolt. So once they die, fuck, they are still around. Shit. That's not good. That's a that's a hefty sum of damage. I need to heal up after this next one if I don't die immediately, which I sh sure didn't. Let's see. Lightning bolt. Smite them down. Those things have so much fucking HP. Ouchies. Russell's muttering an incantation. No. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on a second, homie. That looks cool as fuck, though. Hot damn. Maybe I shouldn't be fucking with them. They're only doing 1 and 11 damage. No. No weakness. Let's try fireball. Water wisp? Okay, maybe, maybe not. I thought they were ice. Yeah, no, I think we're gonna go with lightning on this one. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Ooh, fire! One of their glowing red. They must be getting close to getting popped. I'm gonna do it. They gotta be getting close, right? Lightning bolt max! Nice. Okay, cool. It's just you and me, big man. Let's fucking go. Weak? Maybe not weak. Wait, what was? Why did it say weak if he's not vulnerable to it? Sure, fireball. We're gonna have to build up some SP after this one. Not weak to that one. It didn't look like. Why didn't it reveal it? Huh. Oh, okay. Inspiring Plum. I wish it gave the item description. That's for SP, right? Oh, that's going to fuck me up. Does it not have like an indicator for what it does? I think I remember it doing SP, but... Let's try this. Okay. Shit, I'm going to have to remember. Remembering is the second worst thing I do. I forgot what the actual worst thing was. Ice wind! Oh, ice. ice hurts him! Okay, so he's got two shield. We can break him and then... Now, I'm gonna try this defend thing. 17! I think it have the damage. Ho, 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 ho! You ready to get fucked by some ice, Russell? That did significantly less than I expected. But that's okay. <laughs> I'm a little scared there. <laughs> I might be blurry. Oh, no, I'm blurry. What 
We'll see if that fixes it. Let me know. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I'm sorry, gang. I'll look at it after this boss battle. I'm going to defend again. If his big move is going to... Oh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, regular. Ice wind. Can we break his shield? Knock his spell out? Did we do it? I think we fucking did it. much better look at that <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> that's a lot of damage unblurry after mentioning oh, okay well i'm glad it got through dinner time this is amazing i'm playing this you'll have to catch up on these vods uh, thank you for coming in koi thank you for gifting so many subs i appreciate you take it easy this one's for you enjoy your dinner i hope you have a good one send my love to everybody on your end i'll let i'll let jen and, and uh, zoe know that you send in love as well Cheers to you. Have a good one. I hope you had a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Damn, Core dropping a thousand bitty up in there. Look at that jar. Here comes it. Here it comes on my screen. Wow, it actually didn't spadoof anything. Wow, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Thank you, Koi. I super appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a good dinner. Have a great one. I'll see you later. I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Thank you for teaching me everything about this because uh, we're new to it. And evidently I'm fighting a man 30 times my size. <laughs> we're going to see all the bits. Yeah, well, uh, all the bits down there are for subs, so I can see why the weight of them is is, is pretty even. Let's see here. We got t -t 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 two. I don't want to use another berry if possible. Or a plum. I think it's a plum. I'm going to save up my uh, I'm going to save up my charges. I'm going to get hit max. Save up my charges. I think it only goes out to what? Three or four? I'm not entirely certain how it works. So like, so like when I, maybe somebody can help me understand. When I click it, one, two, three, that's the max, right? We can only add three to that. So I keep the two in my total bank of five, which is actually technically under my head now. And I need to change that. Let me, let me do that real quick too. Let me change it. Let me move it down. I didn't realize the face cam was going to be in the fucking way. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. I'll put it right there. Which is a little under where we had it before. A little over where we had it before, essentially. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. 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 It is pretty good. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, guys. You need the 5,000 bomb to splash the subs? Remember from when Zach and I went at it during Breath of the Wild? It's gotta be, I don't know the weights of them, but here we go. The big fuck off skill. Get fucked, big boy! Oof. That was a lot less than I was expecting, probably because he wasn't broken, but now he's broken. Man, I wish I, I almost wish I took Ant. Oh, no, wait, he's, he's flashing. He's gotta be getting close. I'm not gonna waste a plum. Wow, it's 29 HP away. <laughs> Level five. Obtained refreshing jam and ice soul stone. Woohoo, exactly, Pat, thank you. Yeah. Take that, Russell. I swear. Never meant to. I just needed the money. Blech. Just so. Maybe not. Maybe not. Blech. <laughs> that tome would fetch a small fortune. This is true. And yet, did you not for a moment consider the consequences? Say it is not so. In stealing that tomb, you would steal from our students something more valuable than all the realm's riches. Grave crime, no matter who would perpetrate it. But all the more unforgivable when committed by one who calls himself a scholar. He's like, ah, oh, you punched me in my tit. My fucking right tit. <laughs> 
You hit me in the chest with a fucking block of ice in my right tit. <laughs> well, I'll be. You actually did crack the case of the stolen book. Uh, yep, that was me. Totally did it. I knew all along. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> that I did. And yet I fear this may not be the only volume our friend had purloined. There might be more. Russell has already confessed to the full extent of his crimes and revealed the names of his business associates. <laughs> Instead of business, if you're fucking pilfering books. We, uh, we need to only track down the books and purchase them back. Purchase them back? I think we just fucking take them back. I'll speak to the guards and see that we redouble security at the archives. I don't know how the motherfucker walked out with a book. Just like shove it down his pants like a fucking honey baked ham. This is like, oh, oh no, yep, oh, you got a real case of the, uh, the old under the belt fucking sh uh, hard schlong dong going on. Yep, uh, I'm gonna, it's gonna take all 69 of these chapters back home. Uh, push your fatty out. How did he just walk out with a book? Nobody noticed? Especially from the most secure section of the library? Uh, what's this? It says there's another book still missing. Did that scoundrel of a scholar steal this one as well? How did you crack it after? And I'm estimating here less than half an hour of sleuthing. <laughs> yeah, Jack saw him, saw him do it. So he just told me. And I was like, oh, shit. Okay, I trust Jack. <laughs> uh, from the far reaches of hell. No, I can assure you that he did not. It's been missing for some 15 years now. Russell's aggressive borrowing only extended some two years back. Aggressive borrowing may be the kindest way of putting into words that he was a fucking thief and stole a book to fence. <laughs> what if I ever lie to you? <laughs> yeah, Jack. I see. I see. So this volume was stolen or lost or stolen long before that. I'm not good at reading. What do you expect? Uh, right as always, Professor. Pray tell me more about From the Far Reaches of Hell. According to our records, it would seem to be a compendium of ancient rites and long-lost magics. Actually... If I'm not mistaken, it was the single oldest volume housed within our archives. That's not suspect at all. Needless to say, it was a tremendous loss. Aha! <laughs> Oh, yet another mystery, it would seem. Uh-oh. Headmaster's assistant. Professor Albright, the headmaster, would speak with you at once. Is awesome, miss. He, he has the best timing. Again, what could it be this time? Hmm. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Perhaps he plans to commend you for your role in apprehending the library thief. I think it's probably not that. I have no interest in accolades, but if he insists, I shall be accoladed. Oh, hey, new people to scrutinize? Hello, Fred. Let's see now, age 28, a modest man and purveyor of the royal family who takes great pride in his goods. Whether his customers be commoner or king, he refuses to sell something unless he deems the buyer worthy of it. Am I worthy of finding this hidden item? Because I'm about to fucking go do that. I'm saving because I feel like I got a little lucky on one of those. You guys didn't see it, but uh, my HP went down to like 30 at one point. I was like, oh fuck. I'm about to die. <laughs> there it is. My secret large feather. <laughs> Upstairs we go to see the headmaster. <laughs> that was when he yeah, yeah, is when he went to go get food, right, Trigger? Yeah. <laughs> I've brought Professor Albright, as asked, sir. Ooh, very nice. Good. Enter. Exit. Why the music stop? Ah, oh, Lucia. 
Um, oh my god, what was the name of the game? With Lucia being the... Oh my god. The JRPG came in multiple discs. It was PS2, I think. Maybe PS1? I think it was PS2. Something about the moon. Oh my god, what was it? Lunar 2. Lunar 2. Eternal Blue? That was one of the fucking JRPGs I spent the most time in. I think it was probably the first JRPG I probably spent more than 100 hours on. That shit was banging. Yes, I think it was like four or what five discs. It was fucking huge. Maybe even six discs. It was fucking huge. <clears throat> Lunar 2, Lunar Boogaloo. You know what? I think that might I might have been wrong some. That might have been it. <laughs> Something tells me he's not about to offer a commendation. Yeah, probably not. Professor Albright, a most troubling report has reached my ears. Mm, I'll have to kill the report, man. A report, sir? An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into an illicit relationship with Her Highness the Princess. Whoa! No! No, 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 Wait, 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 wait. That wasn't, no. That was, that, that was... Believe this report, nope. <laughs> nope. If it is untrue, then say so. I did, I said multiple times. No. Wait, 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 wait. Founded, unsubstantiated, balderdash of the highest order. Oh, fuck, dude. We're getting framed. I would like to take your words at face value, Professor, but I fear the situation is not so simple. He literally was like, wait, hold on. If it's not true, say no. Say that you didn't do it. I didn't do it. That's preposterous. He's like, oh, well, I would love to take your saying no to be true. It's like, wait, 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 you, you asked. What? What? A rumor regarding the royal family, even an unsubstantiated one such as this, is sure to spread quickly. Mm. If you mm. take swift action, Princess Mary's good name could be forever sullied. That is something that simply cannot be allowed to happen. Surely you understand. But I, I didn't, I didn't do it. And so what do you intend to do with me, sir? <laughs> Trust me, if I did, I'd be bragging everywhere, but I didn't do it. <laughs> it is not an easy decision to make. Oh, boy. Dismissing you outright would be tantamount to an admission of guilt. Is that not where we're already at, evidently? If I may be so bold, Headmaster. A sabbatical. A sabbatical, you say? Paid vacation? What am I, a cop? Professor Albright has put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing field work in a distant land. Oh, okay. I mean, I see how whether see what, what they're doing to get the stuff out of the town. Way, both the academy's reputation and your own remain intact. I don't like it. It smells fishy to me. My reputation. I'll just be known as an outright scoundrel. Do we have a <laughs> problem, Professor? Uh, I Let didn't expect this turn. Master. On the contrary, this might prove the perfect opportunity. Scoozy? Opportunity? What? For what? What was, what was, what was that? Oh, it was the mode. I was like, wait, why did the music change all of a sudden? <laughs> I was like, that sounded like the raid uh, indicator. It was perfectly timed. <laughs> what up, D? How's it going? Thank you for raiding. Hello, friends. Hello, everybody. Hello, party people. Shucky boys and everyone in between. How was uh, Twilight Princess, the mode? Everybody go check out the mode. They just finished up, I believe, finished up, Twilight Princess. Yeah, you beat it. Hell yeah. Um, that's awesome. I haven't seen the ending. 
Um, I was lurking a little bit, didn't want to say anything because I didn't get to hang out for too long before I had a stream today, but I was lurking just a little bit, saw that you had like a different color tunic and stuff, and I was like, never played this one, so I'm not entirely certain what's going on here, but <laughs> that's awesome. Welcome man. what up, Rage? What up, dude? How's it going? Uh, you brought drums drumsticks, yeah, Zach. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I, I'm curious. How was the last boss? How was the fight? Was it easy? How did it turn out? Um, I do not know who the final boss is. Um, in one of the final bosses, it sends you underwater, so you had to switch to the Zora suit so you could breathe. Oh, Jesus. That sounds terrifying. That's fucking terrifying. As a matter of fact, that's scary. A matter which has piqued my interest of late. So, for those of you who are new here, I'm Chris. Um, today we're playing uh, Octopath Traveler. I intend to be playing this for quite a while. It seems that you guys are enjoying it, and I'm also enjoying doing the voices too. When we're not in a cutscene like this, and they're doing their own voiceover work. Octopath Traveler is a JRPG. We play eight different characters. Uh, we're starting off with what seems to be is the day one of it uh, a Sherlock Holmes character essentially with mage aspects uh, I'm not entirely certain how they play I've, I think I've fought like maybe six fights so far uh, but it's visually very stunning very cool love it um, what was the mode up to more Zelda yes 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 yeah exactly Willow she was playing uh, Twilight Princess just beat it yep 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 <laughs> there were two final bosses, Zant and Ganondorf. Zant was easy and fun. Ganondorf's battle had four parts. I mean, that makes sense for, like, like Ganondorf, right? Yeah. It was not bad, but it was hard to figure out what to do. I feel like there's a lot of trial and error when you're fighting Ganondorf, right? You know, it's like, do we, do we hit something back at him? Do we reflect it? You know, what, how do we go about this stuff? Yeah, that's... I'm sorry. Yeah, he's not... Yeah, the main character is not, uh... Sherlock. He's Columbo. <laughs> I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. Oh. I think I will set forth on a journey. You're playing right into their hands, Cyrus. What are you doing? <laughs> in search of an ancient tome that disappeared 15 years ago. That's the one. That's the one, Willow, with the wolf link and thick dommy mommy. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Besides, if I am not permitted to share what I have learned with my peers and the public, there is little point in continuing my research here. Mmm, I see. Accepting the journey, the hero's journey out of town. Is that so? Do tell, Professor. What is it that you intend to investigate? Stuff. <laughs> As regards a certain term, How to get away with sex crimes, evidently. Give me, I must begin packing for my journey. Since it seems like I'm being accused of diddling the princess, and am now getting uh, shunned out of town, maybe we need to find a way to clear our names. Good day to you, headmaster. What? Zelda's thick dummy mommy? No, 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 no. Uh, Twilight Princess has little Impa. Oh, wait. What's her name? Is her name Impa? A little thick dummy mommy. A little, little gremlin. Midna. There we go. Not Impa. Sorry. That was silly. Midna. The Twilight Princess. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be good, right? You excited for fucking uh, Breath of the Wild 2? D? Are you excited? I'm excited. It's going to be good. It's gonna be a fucking blast. I can't wait. It was like May 25th or something like that. Oh god, my controller just vibrated everywhere. Enigma as ever, that one. Hmm. I'm gonna have to fight her, won't I? I'm gonna fight both of them. Won't I? Professor! <laughs> I'm so excited, yeah. And I just can't hide it. Oh, Therese. What is it? I heard. I yeah. heard that you were leaving the academy. Yeah, evidently, uh, there's rumors that I was diddling princesses, and that's not allowed. Then you heard true. <laughs> you haven't you haven't played a game since uh, Zelda game since Majora's uh, Willow. If you have access to a Switch, which I'm very very certain you do, right? 
go play Breath of the Wild. It's amazing. P Professor, I I'm so sorry. Yeah, I didn't even get to diddle the princess. And yet here we are. I see. So you were the source of the rumor. What the fuck? Therese? You... you knew? You got me kicked out of town! <laughs> Not until just this moment, when you apologized. Oh no! And yet, I cannot fathom your motive. I kind of assume. Why would you tell such a terrible lie? Yeah! She was the cool one! Exactly, I'm Jack. Always helping her highness, answering her every question. I'm her teacher. I answer your questions too. That's the the job. <laughs> I just wanted you to pay more attention to me. It is a class of two students. You have my mo utmost attention. <laughs> She would not handle a 30, 40, 50 kid classroom. <laughs> she scandalized my good name. Yes, but I, I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. Majora's Mask scared the fuck out of me with its big moons and timing and everything. It was, it was fucking terrifying. I hated it. I only played a little bit of it. I hated it because it scared me. It gave me anxiety. I, I didn't know how to turn back time or anything at any point in time. I picked that up as a demo. <laughs> it did, yeah, it did show a bit of bias in the intro. That's sure, that's for certain. But yeah. I didn't think they would. I am so sorry, Professor. Can you ever forgive me? I gotta leave because you said I fucked the princess. Dialogue is like no. Worry not, my dear. It just so happens that I was looking for a good excuse to go on a journey. <sighs> How is a sabbatical not an admission of guilt either? For some time now, I've wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare said balls. Say the timing couldn't have been better. The timing couldn't have been worse. <laughs> you see, there's a certain matter I simply can't wait to investigate. What could it be? So fret not, my girl. If anything, you've done me a favor. <laughs> Sullied Besides, my good name and got me I'm kicked not out. Entirely without fault in the matter. Indeed, I have not been as attentive to you as I should. Had I realized your true intention sooner, I would not be in this position. Hold up a minute. Is he apologizing? For for giving a slightly less than 50% acknowledgement to one of his two students? Is he apologizing to her who started the rumor that he diddled the princess and get him kicked out of town? He's apologizing? I'm sorry, I gave you 45 out of 100%. I should have given you 50% of my attention. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Whatever do you... If only I had realized how devoted you were to your studies, my dear girl. What is going on here? My studies. It didn't seem like a pretty heavy bias. The only the only amount of bias that we got or saw was like an emote. And that was it. I have always striven to treat all my students equally. You got close, but I wouldn't say equal. Is always eager to ask questions, and I was all too eager to answer them. Is that not what a classroom is? Is that not what studying is? In doing so, I may have given the impression that I favored her above you and the others. This was not my intention, but I am at fault all the same. Others? We only saw classroom with two. Devoted young scholar that you are. What? <sighs> um, Professor. This is not what she wanted. You're not quite as sharp as I thought you were. Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, hold on. He's yes. playing up.
I'll be it. Oh, never mind. Pray do not shirk your studies, my girl. Hmm. Yes, Professor. Will, will I ever see you again? <laughs> Probably, depending on where the story takes me. <laughs> I do not see why not, provided we both still live. That's a pretty good answer. That's a pretty good answer. And here I go off into the sunset. Goodbye, Therese. Hey, you, where's your hidden item? <laughs> After the great pestilence in the Riverlands, this apothecary decided to dedicate himself to disease prevention and swift treatment. He now works together with the Royal Academy and Atlas Dam to create both medicine and new forms of treatment. Out of these? What is that? Wasn't this the town would be more receptive to your guidance? Oh! That's pretty tight. Okay, so I'm just I'm just adventuring around now. I'm not getting immediately kicked the fuck out. Wait, wait, buy? I don't go inside the building. I buy it right from the door. All right, fuck it. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Physical attack 36, elemental attack 38. Evasion plus 10. Physical attack's gonna go down. My elemental attack's gonna go stay the same, but my evasion's gonna be higher. Evasion might be the way to go with a lot of this. Welcome back, Ashen. How was the pork chops, dude? Uh, we beat a boss. We beat up. We beat up the guy who stole the book. We took the book back, and uh, then we got framed for having fun times with the princess, which is highly illegal. Um, so we now we need to go on a sabbatical and leave town. Yeah, we got paid to leave because rumors we did a bad thing. At least we can... Hmm. I think we have enough to where we can upgrade most of our stuff. First of all, let's get... A good defense... Is an appropriate offense, but a great offense is just fucking splendid. I'm pretty sure that's how it says. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how... I'm sure that's how it goes. So I'm gonna do that one. <laughs> uh, brown shield or sturdy shield? I'm thinking physical defense, elemental defense. The physical. I don't know. How are we gonna break it down? Nine plus five is 1400. We're not gonna have enough for everything. Sturdy armor. Oof, we're gonna have to come back for some new stuff, too. Physical def defense 42, elemental attack plus 8. We, ooh, the linen robe might be the best thing here. We don't even have enough for the sturdy armor. Plus, it doesn't even look like we're able to put it on. No, maybe it's just because we don't have enough money. Yeah, it's probably great out because we don't have enough money. An oaken staff plus 68 elemental attack? Jeebers! Holy fuck! <laughs> Should have saved up for that. Um, what grade level is this? I assume like university or something like that. Yeah. What up, Winter? You remember this game? You've been playing this like forever. It is a long game. Yeah. Pork chops are so good. They've been marinating for four or five days. It's turned out great. But okay, yeah, what'd you marinate them in? Did you do, like a little bit of soy? Maybe some brown sugar or something? Or what were, what were you doing them in? Did you pan fry them or did you do it in the oven? Or barbecue even? Or like grill, I, I guess I mean. I think I'm gonna do... Lamb I'm gonna do sturdy shield. Equip it immediately. Oh, yeah, did we do it? There we go. Yeah, we're good. And then the probably the pointed hat. Although the circlet, circlet's pretty good looking. We'll save up for the circlet. Did I already equip my other stuff? It didn't look like it. Staff. Well, because we bought the shield. Sturdy shield for the buckler. Yeah, the ordinary hat we still have. The wind attire we still got. 
Wind attire is looking great. We can sell the row probably. Accessories. Wait, what else did we buy? We bought the quartz rod. Why is that not in our staffs? Is it not for us? What? Where did our quartz rod go? What did I... Uh, arcane glaive? Did we get the arcane glaive? I think we got the arcane glaive. Yeah. Let me see here. All arcane glaive. Is it not for Can Cyrus? It's not for Cyrus. We wasted all our money on a non-Cyrus thing. No. <laughs> oh, shit. Is... Oh no. That sucks. And the pork chops are so good. They've been married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pan fried with apple cider and spices. Not sure what they were at the moment. That's all good. I mean, that's cool. That's awesome. I love a good pork chop. That's cool, Ashen. Fuck yeah. It's raining so hard you might lose signal. BRB. Is it, uh, is it raining heavy right now, Willow? It was raining earlier over here. Um... God damn it. I must have that that glaive must be for somebody else then. Down the road. I can I can only hope. Ugh. Is an actual chop chop inside here now? Well Metrapla, what can I do for ye? What can I do ye for? You're a tail. What's the tail? The name is Cyrus, and you are a scholar in the Royal Academy in Atlas Dab. I don't Restore reputation. I don't need to leave. Your reputation here is unblemished. <laughs> Would I need to leave then? Change party. Okay, I see. That's some, some kind of regular character. There's nothing better than seafood to go with a good drink. Even them brainy scholars will agree with me. <laughs> Scrutinize time. Scrutinize indeed. Age 28. Every morning this fisherman hauls his catch to the castle town of Atlas Dam. He takes the leftovers to the tavern to have it cooked and enjoys the fruits of his labor alongside a few drinks. This is not like a bad life. This is not like a bad life at all. Uh oh. How do I... There we go. Hello. Oi! I see you're taking an interest in me axe. You're not uh, like most uh, scrawny weaklings around here. Yeah, I know. My accent's the best. Get over it. <laughs> I told you they were going to be bad. An old mercenary spends most of his day in the tavern. He claims the liquor calms his nerves, so when summoned by his employer, he reports for duty with staggering steps. Hmm. Well, at least we got some new items out of them. Maybe we can make a little mun muns. Empty coin pouch. Is it... <laughs> it's legit worth nothing? It's worth 15 gold. We'll see if maybe that's a quest item or something and we just haven't been aware of it. <laughs> it's like locally super heavy is two miles away and there was no rain and now pounding. Yeah, we we had it a little bit weird here. It was it was uh, sprinkling and then it was just like, <laughs> OK, done. And I'm like, oh, what, what was that? This magical sky water that came out of the, the air. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. I've never seen this. Stuff. Hey, look at this! I found a huge, huge egg laying around. Isn't it amazing? Maybe just finish some guitar practice. Practice right now consists of practicing between... Switching between the chords and holding the bloody G chord. Because your hands are so small, not flexible enough. Muscles on fire! Fingers on fire! Why are my hands so small? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> right on, Striker. Well, I mean, hey, I'm glad you're practicing, dude. And thank you for gifting a sub to Demo. Much appreciated. Thank you. And congratulations, D. Brimming with curiosity, this young boy will go to whatever lengths necessary to sate an interest, even if it puts him in danger. It was reckless tendencies, 
worry those around him. The oftentimes rare and valuable items he brings back from his ventures have earned him the esteem of his friends. Smarter bartering. Okay. You have a better chance of getting a discount when you purchase items. I didn't even know that bartering was an option. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> you telling me I could have been haggling and <laughs> making deals for items I can't even equip? <laughs> Congrats, D. You did. You beat all the bosses on Octopath. Holy shit, Winter. That's in, yeah. that's it's incredible. Oh. Yeah, that would have been good to have. Thanks, Jack. I plan on studying hard and becoming a scholar. Do you? Do you now? The childhood friend of the reckless boy by her side, being the older by two years, she was entrusted by or with watching over him. Despite his endless curiosity, oftentimes putting them both in danger, she takes her role seriously and is prepared to face whatever challenges come her way. A hidden item around town. Looks like maybe we got one right here. Oh yeah, there it is. A light soul stone, medium. Nice, okay, cool. So we already scrutinized the kids. We already beat them up a little bit. Provisioner. Don't, we don't really have a whole lot of money for this stuff. Herba, herba, herba flammer. Oh, that's what we got earlier. Here's a single ally of silent. silence. Blindness and Revival. Revives a single unconscious ally. Is that not what the, uh... Oh, Olive of Life. Is the Phoenix down plus HP. Herb of Revival is just straight up revive. Okay. Alright, I see what's going on here. I get it. Consume the child. <laughs> Scrutinize the child. Eat the child. <laughs> Did I show you guys the fucking uh, the comic? Oh god, I can't remember who it was from. I actually think it was. Uh, I actually think it was modded. Four panel comic. First one was like, oh, you have a kid, and they're like, oh yeah, they're thirty eight months old, <laughs> something like that. And the guy was like, oh, so you like math? Well, check the velocity and like grabs the baby and throws the fucking kid and the mom's like, what the fuck? She fucking throws it. It was great. <laughs> Revive and eat again, indeed. All right, we did a save. I think we're good. Nope, nope, save successful, nice. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a quick pause break. I don't think we can pause, pause, but. We could do that. I don't think we really need a pause, pause. Nope, time keeps going. And it just keep coming. I'm going to, uh, because we haven't yet, and it's been over two hours, I'm going to make myself another drink. I recommend you guys do the same. Grab yourself a snack, go use the restroom, make yourself a drink, a bev or not. And uh, just in a couple minutes, I'll be right back. And we're going to be playing more of this. I'm enjoying this. It's fucking awesome. Absorb the child. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, burn the father, feed the child. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Midnight King. How's it going, dude? Ah, uh, we're gonna go on a break real quick, just a couple minutes, just to grab some snacks and grab some, uh, grab a drink. It'll just be a couple, and I'll be right back. Uh, take this time to uh, take care of yourselves. Here be.
Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's get back into it. I got myself a little drink. It sounds like I'm gonna be, uh, Jen's gonna be making some tortellini soup with some dashi powder later on, so I'll probably have a little snack for that once we're done with the stream, but it'll be nice. Maybe I'll take a photo or something. I can share it with everything. Cheers to you guys. I'm having a good, I'm having a good time with this. It's fun. I just spilled everywhere. <laughs> Tasty! Yeah. I made more pizza earlier. And Jen had one, because she was like, I'm hungry. Let's make something. I was like, okay. So we made pizza. She had one slice, and she's like, I'm going to save the last for lunch. I'm like, why did I go through all the work of making that pizza? <laughs> but since it's been raining, I know, weird, right? Like, one week it was 111, 112, 113 Fahrenheit. And now, today, it's like 72 and raining. It's like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> you see that library near the palace? It's filled with all sorts of historical books. Libraries aren't for me. My cows are my priority. Okay. Interesting. Interesting take. A thoughtful rancher who delivers the fresh milk from his cows to his parents every morning. His parents worry for his future, though, as he dedicates his entire life work to work alone. He's not alone, he's got his cows. Discount at the end. Nice! Doing, doing this is working out, I think. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? How's the voice audio for the game compared to the music? It seems a little low on my end. Last I heard, she sojourned in Quarry Quest. I should begin my journey there. Okay, so I, uh, Jack. Okay, so I guess the two exchange students in your house from staying in for school. I mean, guess or something because there's a bunch of strangers down there. Jeez, stay safe. Nice. Normally, it, it's pretty quiet. Yeah, it normally isn't so bad. I think it's because he's whispering. Uh-oh. King Mickey? Is that you? Now I'm going to turn it up a little bit. And so Cyrus left the Academy behind in search of the Lost Toe. From the far reaches of hell, the dark secrets might its pages hold. Only the gods know. Culty Culterson? That's his name. Across the stair, there are seven others who await you. Why not venture out and find them? Together you can defeat even the greatest foes. Okay. I will be doing this though. Wait, no, hold on. How do I how do I find the start menu? <laughs> Miscellaneous, there we go, okay. I was like, wait, where, where's the where's the start menu? Wow, the voice is higher than the music. There we go. Music sound effects will turn off. Ambient sounds will keep like right here. There we go. That that should probably be good. Yeah. No, I'd rather have the rain than the heat myself too as well. Willow. Ugh. It was bad for a while there. Can't imagine what the hell my goddamn AC bill is gonna be like. My electricity bill. Out of curiosity, Chris, by any chance do you have an as? Can you do an Aztec push-up? I myself can't myself record. I've never heard of an Aztec push-up. I can guarantee you one thing. No. I probably can't. <laughs> Very likely probably can't. <laughs> I do not know what an Aztec push-up is, though. Uh, what is that, Striker? Uh, favorite pirate was Cut Lassie, a Worgen swashbuckler. Worgen. Like Worg? Like the, like the dog wolf things? Holy cow, the game's 50% off Steam and it's still like 42 bucks there? I think it's like 40 bucks here. Is it really? That's expensive. Jesus. Ooh. The monster came out of nowhere and it got me in the leg. Can hardly put any weight on it. I hate to be a bother, but do you have a healing grape to spare? 
sure. I just bought a bunch. Sure. You know, I'll do a save real quick. You're going to be safe there, right? <laughs> I come out of the save menu. She's fucking dead. I'm like, oh, fuck. I can give you, yeah, I can give you a healing grape. Healing grape. Give this person what they need. Sure. I think they were like cheap too. Phew. It feels good to be back on my feet. I can't thank you enough. I'd have been done for if you hadn't come along. The bridge is like, like a hundred feet that way. My name is Kit. I'm on a journey to find my father. He disappeared when I was just a boy. Are you on a journey too? Perhaps our paths too will cross again someday. Be safe. May your travels bring you all that you seek. Nice. Thank you, kid. Fuck yeah. There are people who will need your help across all of us, area. One in the right mind wouldn't want me to marry such a spineless and fragile man. Not me, that's for sure. What? Matilda, damn. Help the people of the realm using the power of path actions. <laughs> Matilda. T Tony, I never knew you, sister. <laughs> there may... There may be more than one way for you to solve their problems. Okay. Holy shit! 1,500? Well, that was a lot more than that goddamn grape was worth. Let that be a lesson to you, friends. Help others. And help shall also come your way. Do I want to go up or...? I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up. North Atlas Dam Flats. Danger level one. That's what we like to see right away. That's what we like. All right, so an Aztec push-up, the non-sell price is literally more than the sequel's price? That seems really weird, Jack. An At uh, Aztec, I'm sorry. An Aztec push-up, Stryker says. It's a push-up where you start in the normal position, launch yourself three or three feet in the air to touch your toes with your hands, land back in a normal position, repeat and exhaust. No, that sounds like the perfect way for me to smash my forehead on the ground. Consider one of the hardest exercises, period, though the arms only push-ups are in contention. The fuck is that? No, hell no, I can't do that. I can't do that. You think I'm pushing this big ass body that far off the ground with only my arms? No. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot, I can't do that. I didn't know what they were. I had, a, I had a strong feeling that I wouldn't be able to do them, but damn, I definitely cannot even do one of those. Squirrel? Danger level 15? No! We settle this like gentlemen? What is the logical course of action? I, uh, ooh, I hope we're okay. I didn't want to go into the danger level 15 area. Okay, so maybe we're not there yet. Shit, man. Frog. Let's do three ice. I should probably build up. Wow, okay, he's almost done, too. Hopefully pretty close. Ooh. Damn, man. I don't want to build up too much. I guess I get it. I'll just do. I'll do three attack. See if that can get him. I guess it was four. Wow, he's not even close. I thought he was getting close there. Ooh, fuck, man. I'm not breaking his shield either. All right. Jesus. Sorry, friend. I don't think he's even dead from this. Wow, okay, he was. <laughs> Please level up. Oh my God, we're not even close. That was no experience. <laughs> that was super bad. You think he's weak to ice and bow act and axe attacks? That was fucking bad. Jeez. Everything's got so much HP. It feels like. 
15 motherfucking challenge level. This is level one now. Oh God. Next. I can't. I can't do the clap ones either. Yeah. Fuck that. I can't even do a handstand. Nope. Can't do those either. Nope. It's bacon time. Of course, can't forget the two finger push-ups. Yeah. Sure. What spell is that? It's vulnerable to purple. Not vulnerable. I'm going to assume fire. We broke it. Here we go, gang. Fire it is. If it, it's not vulnerable to fire, but it took a hefty sum. Okay. I'm going to assume poison for that purple. Wow, okay. Nice. It's bacon time indeed. Did it give us more experience than that other guy did? Interesting. Nobody told me this game was going to be uh, a little difficult from the from the from the side. Like I'm going to have to use a lot more items than I expected. Question for anyone who may know: When I run, the map turns red. Is that increasing my chance of? Encounters? Not my map, but my little mini, my little mini map, my uh, down at the bottom right. They're vulnerable to lightning. Good thing lightning hits both parties. I'll power it up after doing one. Nice, we got a break. Ooh. Ow. Nice, so when you hit them on a break, it does extra damage. It looks like it does a significant more damage too. We got another break on this other one. So I'm just gonna hit with a regular lightning bolt. Cool, we got another break on him. That one's gonna get a hit off. That's a lot of damage, homie. Aggressive ant. The text was red. Jesus! What the fuck is happening? I'm dying! And I'm also, I can't see anything. I'm blind. I'm blind and I'm dying. Oh, come on, man. Fucking really? There we go. A full break. A solid break. Oh, I missed. That sucks. God damn. Not so. <laughs> Those all sound fake, Striker. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Triple clap push up. Launch your launch your upper body. Clap in front, then clap behind, then clap in front again before you touch the ground. Bro, I couldn't clap behind me if you asked me to while I was standing still and doing nothing else. Nox rot. Nox root. What the fuck is Nox root? I don't know who you're asking where you're judging these on a scale of any of them being feasible. What is Nox root? What is refreshing jam, by the way? HP and SP. Okay, nice. Nox root. Nope. Component with poisonous effect. Okay, there might be like some kind of crafting or something here. I might have, I, I might have, might have been better if I went down <laughs> instead of up. This up seems to be kind of a problematic type of deal. Uh, gentlemen. gentlemen, indeed. Gentlemen, would you not wish to see my amazing lightning bolt? Double break. All right. That leaves us with just enough to get a double lightning on them, which is not enough to kill, but brings our SP down to nothing. We're gonna need to heal up after this one. Unless we use a refreshing jam, which we probably should. Wow, that brought everything, but way the fuck back up. I thought it was gonna be a partial. 
is the logical course of action? <laughs> logical course of action is going to be lightning bolt. Break them and then use our SP to do additional. What next? Goodbye, ant boys. Get smoked. Thus ends and that's how you take out ants. Like I'm one age, one experience away. That's how you take out ants. Uh, Zach was helping me out with trying to take those out earlier, previously. And actually, we've been ant free after probably about three days after we put out those new traps, so it's been nice. What is this area? What is this? This this got me. Oh no! You got me a little scared. You prefer a shotgun? I don't think I can hit that many ants with a shotgun. We're gonna level up on this one, which means we're gonna get all of our all of our HP and SP back. So we might as well go big, right? Yeah! Don't have ant shot? What is ant shot? What's that? He's talking about like the the, the little brand. Uh, I tried everything, dude. I had to use tarot. And that was the only thing that worked. I used raid. I used a bunch of stuff. Uh, should be able to take him out into this. Nice. Also known as Dragon's Breath. Never heard of that. I've heard of the shotgun shell called Dragon's Breath. It's like fucking fifteen dollars a shot. <laughs> heard of that? Angel level one. Northern Flames Grace Wilds. Danger level one. I'm glad it gives me a danger level. I want to go anywhere, anywhere that's going to bust my ass open. I probably should have gone down. Recommended level five. Yeah, I would have met Ophelia, huh? I guess I could always fast travel. Can I fast travel back to here? Turn, no. Maybe not in certain, it did say certain areas I can't fast travel, so maybe not there. Interesting. God damn it. Camera blurry. Thank you. That's happening far too often now. Interesting dilemma. Hopefully it's fixed now. Let me know, please. Let me know, please. Nice, we did a fat break on him. I'm gonna assume fire for this, for this gent. Fire it is. Still blurry? Fuck! You know what I think it is? I think everything in the background is way too sharp. Is the logical course of action. Here's my eyes, camera. Come on. Work with me here. I'm gonna have to change up the uh I'm gonna have to change up the the priority for what the autofocus is based off of. I think we I think we can get them. Nice! Ha ha! Very sharp background. Well, yeah, we have all the lighting and everything's like super in frame and everything's got like angles and shit. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know, Roy. Is it still on the background? I'm literally like right in front of the camera. I don't know why the fuck it does that. Now me, thank you. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna we're gonna get that fixed. Cause that's like the third or fourth time now. We're gonna get that right now. Give me a second. And we're gonna test it. We're gonna we're gonna test it on uh, the other screen real quick, just so I can actually see it. Cause I'm not I'm not able to see like the little tiny preview for the video. While I'm not on the spot uh, not Spotify uh, Streamlabs screen. Oh god, I'll have to look at them, Striker. <laughs> yeah, I heard existing. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking camera. Fucking camera. Hold on a second, gang. Ugh. Ugh. Come on, cam cam. Well, that might be it partially, too. Fucking. Let's see here. What the fuck is going on with this thing? 
Why is this acting like this? Yeah, the audio, the auto focus or what, or whatever you would want to call it, is is acting kind of weird. Why is it doing that? A oh, booba. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me. This is gonna get all fucky. In a hot sec. Like I'll be, like I would be a rude boy. I'd be a rude boy. Right? There we go. Hold on. Autofocus. Face tracking. Hopefully that's a lot better. Let's see. Sorry about that. A booba booba. Should be on the face now. Seems pretty good to me now. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That sucks. I had to move my whole system around and everything. Do I feel like I'm shorter now? I might have moved the camera a little bit too much. Yeah, I might have moved the camera a little bit too much. Let's see. Oh, fuck. There we go. Yep, no, that's what happened. Right there. <laughs> Sorry about that, gang. <laughs> My bad. Let's get a little bit lower, and we'll get right back into it. Once you move that mic arm, it really fucks everything up, don't it? Don't it! Duncan even. All right. We're back into the game. Good dude. Sorry about that again. Cheers. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, yes, monitor. Like the back of the monitor. Yeah. That's where it goes. Nice. Another safe spot. Thank God. Thank you, Roy. Let's see, we got another town coming up, it looks like. Fuck. I've done my research on you. Angry weasels. Very fast weasels, it looks like. They're vulnerable to one. I think we're getting close to town. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a fireball on both. Break them. That didn't seem like it did it. Shit. An Fuck! Interesting An interesting dilemma indeed. Perhaps they're... Unable to dodge lightning! There we go. There we go. Incineration! And they're broken. And we can do lightning again. That was a lot of damage. They're weak to wind and sword. To dark attack? I don't know what that means, Winter. But thank you for letting me know. I don't have sword. Maybe I will eventually. I don't have wind either. I just have fire, ice, and lightning for right now. Maybe you can let me know, Winter. Does running increase your attack rate? Getting attacked? Uh, Because that, that little mini... Whenever I run with uh, the run button down... The uh, little mini map kind of fucks up and turns red. They're weak to wind and sword, and can be weak to lightning. Nice, nice. A good day to you. This is Flame's Grace, very cradle of the Church of the Sacred Flame. I scrutinized that information. Uh oh. What? I can fail scrutiny? That's okay, Roy. I already read it. You know how bad I am with names? And how long it's going to be before I... Oops. Before I play TS3? It's all good, dude. It's all good. Ouch! If your reputation in the town will suffer if you fail. 
I'll try. 90% is pretty good. Let's see now. Years ago, he and his daughter had a fight, after which he eloped with her husband. She eloped with her husband-to-be. Now that she's returned, he's unsure how to face her. Nevertheless, he's happy to see his grandson's face. Okay, maybe I'll be more scrutinous about my scrutinization now. Did not know that that was an option. Huh. There's every job and secret jobs in every location. You can look it up on YouTube, Rock with Trevor, all secondary classes. I'm not gonna look it up. I wanna, I wanna try and play it on my own and then like with some of the help from, you know, viewers and stuff. Uh, but I don't wanna spoil anything, you know? You feel me? Like, if that's, if I'm asking, like, you know, how the, does the run increase getting attacked? If that feels like a minor thing. But, like, looking up, like, new jobs and how to get to those jobs and things like that, that sounds a little spoiler-ish. I hear it gets quite cold here, so items that can keep you warm are a must. Merchant? Really? What gave it away? Was it all the amazing fucking snow texture with the bokeh? Is that how you say it? Bokeh? Bokeh? B-O-K-E-H? Uh, textures and tones? Or, 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 or how, how does that work? Scrutinize! Ooh, 90%. I'll take it. Let's see now. A merchant who journeyed from the south to get his hands on the Frostland's pristine snow water. R rumored to grant the drinker eternal youth! water demands a high price among the aristocracy. The source of the rumor, however, is none other than this clever merchant himself. Wait, what? Wait, what? He journeyed here to get his hands on the snow water, but the rumor was started none other than this merchant himself. <laughs> Excuse me? Did he fall for his own rumor that he didn't know that he started? Is that, what, is that what's going on there? An armorer. Oh, wow. I actually got a lot more money than I expected. Okay. All right. I think I understand what's going on here now. A quartz rod. And Cyrus can use all of this stuff. Why was I not? Why did I buy the thing that Cyrus couldn't use earlier? Yeah, I don't know, Roy. <laughs> Me, an empath, sensing it might be cold. <laughs> I fucking hate that meme. <laughs> I don't think we have any uh, earrings or... or uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, accessories. Jen Mormons just texted me. Oh my god, rain and soup. I'm so happy. <laughs> she loves the rain. I love my girl. Oh, I think I can wear two, and I can definitely buy both. There we go. Rain and soup? Yes. <laughs> Me and Empath sensing you might not like this meme. <laughs> God damn you, Striker. Uh, you need to know the degree, then you decide if you're cold. I think it's like 70. I think it might be like under 70 Fahrenheit here right now. Uh, not in this room, though. In this room, it's it's rather warm. Let's see here. Stone rod. It will increase my stuff, my physical attack, my elemental attack, my evasion quite a bit. What was the other thing I bought? It was like a quartz glaive, right? It's an axe for someone. I hope my weapons and armor and whatever I buy travel through to different characters uh winter would you be able to let me know if that's a thing that happens do my do my items stay specific to that character or can i pre-buy for another character i don't really know how this game works um linen robe 125 140 that seems like a minimal thing for 960 a circlet or a pointed hat My, mm, max SP up to 15. 
physical defense 15 it's gonna be a good one right there i think i'm gonna do that one and i'm gonna equip it nice and then the shield we can't we can wear we can't wear stone rod though that's really good ah the quartz rod's gonna be better i'm gonna save up for the quartz rod i'm gonna take the round shield that's what we're gonna do yep ta-da and then we can sell our old stuff probably empty coin pouch we'll just we'll fucking sell it 15 might as well large feather Again, I, I think anything that says price is probably going to be a modest price or things like that. It's probably going to be worth just straight up selling. Do we not equip the sturdy shield? Let's optimize. Why am... What? Why was that on makeshift staff? Wait, what? Why am I not using the staff that I just bought? Fuck, man. I think I just goofed everything up. It doesn't optimize your accessories? Sprightly earring plus 10, critical earring plus uh, 10 critical. Huh. Camera went blurry for a couple seconds, fine now. Right on, right on. Thank you, Roy. Out of the party members you haven't played, which one's the best? Take a guess or make something up. Uh, blue dancing girl. Dance, I, I'm gonna name her Maria. <laughs> dancing girl. I, it's, it's literally the only one I know other than, well, the current character, Cyrus. <laughs> when I say no, I mean literally, I don't, like, I don't know her name either. <laughs> I know very fucking little about this game. That's the only one that actually stood out. Uh, one, because of the attire. Two, because she wears red and everybody else kind of wears like a brown or a purple or a dark blue or a dark, you know, like dark colors. And I'm like, oh, she stands out. Um, yeah, it's gotta be that one, Jack. Light cures blindness and healing herb cures poison. Right on. There's a main character as a cleric in the snow area. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, may and Empress, I think I've done enough reps. I can no longer lift the weight. Yeah, I think that might be just, you know, your muscles. Striker. Um, little tidbit about Dishonored. I'm not playing it, so, yeah. I'll just have to let you find it. gets gold as you pick it up. Okay, cool. That's cool. Uh, it's turned to gold. Got it. Let's go, Queen Maria. That's her. Hello, Mossy. Hello. Yo, what the fuck happened to my staff, gang? Why, why is the staff that I bought not? Did I not buy it? No, I didn't buy it. I'm sorry. I got all goofed up. I was thinking about buying it. I didn't end up buying it. That's right. We're saving up for that one. We're absolutely saving up for it. What up, Moss? How's your weekend going? Uh, Liana, wait! Ophelia. I- I will perform the kindling in your stead. Her name is Ophelia. She is a cleric. In her home of Flames Grace, the great cathedral towers above all. Within its sheltering walls, she spends her days in service of the flame. She has been helping Liana, her dear friend and sister, prepare for the kindling. A holy pilgrimage carried out once every 20 years. Nice. <laughs> what up, Benny? <laughs> uh, but on the eve of Liana's departure, tragedy strikes, and Ophelia steeds herself, steals herself to set out on the pilgrimage, breaking the traditions of her faith in hopes of keeping her adopted family together. She will need brave allies on the path she has chosen. <laughs> I sad now. <laughs> Why are you sad now, Roy? Because <laughs> I'm not going to play Dishonored. And we're literally playing this game and you're telling me about Dishonored. After I said I hadn't played it. And then I didn't really intend to play it. <laughs> uh. 
Chris has told me he'd never fight his honor. He hates it. Said face. I didn't say I hate it. I just said that I would. I uh, I have no intention of playing it. But hey, we'll see what happens. Cheers to you, Fanny. A tea time and a posture check for you. Thank you. I think you knew automatically that I was a very thirsty boy and also a boy with lower back pain. So thank you for making me not shrimp. Cheers to you, Fanny. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. Been going good, Mossy? Right on, doing some drawings. Fuck yeah! Was it on account of the, uh, the Rainbow Road Twitter uh, post that you that you were, uh, shared? What was it, yesterday? Is that what it was? <laughs> party members, find comrades and add them to your party. Seek out your fellow travelers, and they will ask for your help. Complete chapter one of the story, and they will join you on your journey! After chapter one, you can change your party members at the tavern. Nice. Take a filio along, travel to other areas, maybe restrict from taking place. Yeah, no, I'll do it. Okay. I do not entirely understand how it's doing it, but I like, I like how different it is. That's cool. Gloomwood advice? I don't need Gloomwood advice right now, Jack. I'm not playing it. Wait for the audio cues before trying a backstab. Quick slices will just draw attention. I don't know what the fuck, man. I'm not playing it. Hear the beginning of the tale. I may play it, but I mean, like, you know. <laughs> Reputation and friend grace has improved. Oh, Ophelia. Got it. First time I think we've heard her voice. May the sacred flame light your path on this fine day. Wow, that set reminded me a lot of, uh, what is the anime with the fire, the, the fire characters, the firefighter characters, or like, uh, Lato, uh, may the flame guide you, blah, 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 something or other. Uh, I forget that, uh, anime. The motherfucker fights with, like, flame feet or whatever. And may uh. it ever shine its warmth upon you. <laughs> Fireman Sam, yeah, that checks out. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. You know, the one with the incredible fight scenes. <laughs> Jesus, it wasn't that funny. <laughs> How many times have we said those words? And yet, they seem to take on a whole new meaning now. Okay, I think I get an idea of what's going on here. Each day is one day closer to my departure. Perhaps I'm more nervous than I thought I was. Liana? You needn't worry about me. I was born to make the pilgrimage. Mm. My father did the same 20 years ago. As his daughter, I cannot let him down. What up, Tired Cappuccino? Really what up, dude? I'm glad you I followed. Thank you. Thank you, Cappuccino. A nice cuppa. Welcome what? to the couch, friend. As the Archbishop's only true-born daughter, everyone always expects so much from you. And yet you never fail them. Each of your sermons is more inspiring than the last. I have a lot of experience with sermons. We just got done with Cult of the Lamb. So, I mean, that checks out. <laughs> Hello, Cappuccino. What's up? How you doing? Thank you for following, friend. <laughs> oh. What did you miss the last three hours, Blue? There's a VOD there for you. For now, child. Why, you're the one who helped me think of a topic for that last sermon, Ophelia. You even stayed up nights with me to draft it. Nice. A willing set of ears and a few pretty words. That's all I could offer you. I wish I could do something that would truly help you. Hmm. Like, make sure she doesn't die on the pilgrimage? And come, my sister. Father is expecting us in the chapel. What happened to you? What went down? 
make for the chapel. Wait, when I chose to start her story, does that mean that I gave up on my other character for now? Is this how we do the Octopath? Where it intermingles, it intertwines and fucks around and does, does the, does the, it does the do? In the beginning, the 13 gods created the land. They shaped the mountains and filled the seas, gave life to mighty trees and a myriad of beasts. And then they created men who would become masters of the land. Yet one god, Galdera, was too greedy to part with his creations. And so the 12, de why not eight deities? 12 deities of good were forged into a desperate struggle with the cruel Galdera. Lord of the most infernal magics. In the end, the conflict was brought to a close by Elfric, the Flamebringer, Lord of all that is holy. Elfric called astral fire out upon Galdera, sapping his strength, and sealed him away in the afterworld. That's the world after the, this world right here? Yeah. <laughs> A divine flame to chase the shadows. This is the sacred flame that shines down on the land of Orstera, bringing warmth and guidance to its people. I think it's called the sun. That might be the sun. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, my girls. I do not trust Joseph. I do not trust Joseph. Ha ha ha. That fucking voice of his. Wasn't that deep, I don't think. Your Excellency, may the sacred flame ever light your path. Oh God, Roy. Good. Joseph has committed many crimes. Have you need of us here, Father? I they wearing armor? That is all. What is going on with your duties? Duties. What is going on with their uh, torso armor? It looks, uh... What, what would the term be? Like, pleated? Or is it just ruffled? It's hard to... I, it's really hard to... Depict that with pixel art, right? No, it's gotta be some kind of, like, cloth. the two of you have become women grown in but the blink of an eye. Excuse me, Joseph? Fucking excuse me, Joseph? The music stopped immediately when you were like, Oh, look how grown you are, ladies. Excuse me, Joseph? <laughs> you can smell the evil on him? <laughs> he prefers Jojo. <laughs> yeah, as soon as he enters, he's like, Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> can we kill Joseph now? <laughs> oh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha, Jack. Oh, I feel ya. I feel ya. How long has it been, Ophelia, since you came to us? Fifteen years, Your Excellency. Or near enough so. Yeah, just a little sus, right? Fifteen years. I suppose it is little wonder that you have grown so. Homie! I was but an orphan, Your Excellency. Starving. I got you, Jack, yeah. Not have lived to see this day if you had not taken me in. I don't like this dialogue. I Someone did the knife so command. Up growing up, but my heart is full of gratitude for all that you have given me. This is the church, all right. This is the church, all right. No Screebot. For such yeah! a child. <laughs> we all follow the path the flame illuminates for us. They need to illuminate a different fucking path because I'm not liking this one. Yeah. We're family. You, father, and I. There's no need to be so formal about it. There is absolutely every need, and and it. You know what? I'm calling child protective services. Why should you have to thank us for being with you? That's what family's for. Of course. You're right, Liana. Jesus. Kill him? I wish I could. I'm in a cut deep. <laughs> Jump in there and strangle the life out of him. It's just an old lay about at home. Isn't that right, Father? Please. 
An old layabout? <laughs> oh, you wound me, Liana. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the cathedral keep you busy, <laughs> father, but honestly, you are no help at all when it comes to keeping a household running. Yeah, maybe she should go fuck off. Weirdy. Would it kill you to cook a Absorb his powers? I do not want whatever the powers this man has. I am quite useless after all. I do not like Joseph. So even the great and beloved Archbishop falls short in the discerning eye of his daughter. Shame. Joseph thinks... Wait, Chris thinks Joseph is a good guy? What did I say Joseph is a good guy? I've literally been bagging on this man the whole fucking time. So it would seem... Okay. No! So it would seem. Yeah, right on, Jack. Try that. Try and see if you like the demo. What the fuck? But of course, Father, I am ready. What the fuck, Stryker? Why would you do that? Why, why would you do that, Stryker? Why? Why? The why? The recess of that cave is where you will find the first flame. This is some Dark Souls shit. You will take the ember to the churches across the realm, where it will serve to light the sacred fires that warm and protect all of the lands. God damn it, Zach. <laughs> I had to hold that. I had to hold my... I almost did a spit take. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> no, please. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the kindling. The time-honored right held without fail... I'll, I'll get you in a hot second, Stryker. Since the days of old. As soon as you step foot into the wilderness, you will be met with lawless villains and savage beasts. Is he trying to keep her from going, or is he actually trying to, like, help her out? Is that, there, there felt like it was a character turn there. Yes, many a servant of the church has made this journey throughout our history. Some have never returned. Because now he seems less creepy. Now he seems a little better. <laughs> my daughter everyone has put their faith in you camera keeps going back and forth on being blurry god damn it you have i'm my sorry word, father i won't let you hmm. i won't let anyone down maybe if i turn up the light maybe it's just got i got tiny fucking baby eyes carry out the right just as you did 20 years before hmm very good my child very good say <laughs> <laughs> for cough cough no come on i can do it better <laughs> oh father come on man get with it huh Interesting. A mix of classes. Is I think so highly of him? No, I don't think so. Are you all right, Your Excellency? <coughs> Anyone called Their Excellency does not it's seem that humble. Just my ears announcing their advance. Oh, fuck. Is that what that is? I've been coughing for a while. Oh, you mustn't sound so gloomy, Your <laughs> Excellency. There's still uh, so much we would learn from you before we let you call yourself Archbishop Emeritus. Excuse me? Ophelia is right, Father. Like she always is. You should retire for the day and let your body recuperate. We can handle things from here. You think he's a good guy? You're about to say he's a good guy? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I definitely won't say that. Anytime at any point in the stream tonight. Definitely no, won't be saying any of that, Stryker. <laughs> yeah, please. Mr. Joseph was my father, 
Call me Lord Joseph. <laughs> Zach. No, I will do it, Striker. I'm just waiting for the cutscene to be over, man. Come on. When my two girls insist. Did he just say they did she just say she's gonna be waiting in the chambers? I will leave the preparations for today's service to you. Take care of everything, Your Excellency. I well, I'm not like not liking that. Where you're gonna put a pillow on his fucking face and smother him? Also, she's like holding the gun. Look at her. She's like, haha. I'll see you back there. She's got like a crucifixion fucking gun in her hand. Look at it. Look at it. It's right there. <laughs> she's got it right the fuck there. I'll see you into his chambers. Go ahead. She like shoves it into his back. Walk, Your Excellency. <laughs> God damn, is it blurry right now too? Really? You know what it probably is? It's probably the the light behind my head. I think I need a brighter four light. We can fuck with that in a hot second. As soon as this cutscene is done, and I go into the uh, get that killing me softly, the striker. Also, they said duties, which is pretty great. It's pretty awesome. All right, here we go. Well, then. Don't wait. We can do it. Cool. We're out of the cutscene. <laughs> she had the clip. She said she's she'll let someone know he's resting in his chambers. OK, still. How would you know? How would you know? Yeah, I think what it is, is it's trying to focus on the lights back here. Instead of my. Silly boy dum dum face. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna swap over real fast to just chatting. And I'm going to turn up the light on my face so that uh it's a little bit more visible. I mean it's visible to us, but evidently the camera thinks that uh those are eyeballs. And not these peepers. But you know what? I don't got the widest of eye. I what, what would you call the area around the eyelid? Not the iris, but the medulla ob, oblongata. I think that's probably it. I think it's probably medulla oblongata. Not the sclera. No, no, that would be silly. Not the sclera. God, that awfully. That seems awfully bright though. Porcelain doll face. Oh my god, that's fucking. Elgato, hold on. I don't think you need to make a fucking equivalent of the goddamn sun as your fucking light. I've got one light. It's probably two. It's probably three feet away from me. And uh, I'm at 10%. You want to see 100 again? There it is. It's 100%. Oh, boy. Look at all the detail. I can feel the actual heat coming off of it. That's some fucking bad shit. Uh, let's put it at 15. I do look like I'm washed out a little bit. Um, and all my delicious tan skin uh, is not showing up too much, but we can turn up the warmth a little. Let's do that. Let's, let's turn up the brightness and turn up the warmth. That's, that's too fucking orange. That's orange as fuck. I don't like that. I'm a baby now! No! No, baby. Come on, Striker. Why would you? Why would you do that in the middle of, of all that? <laughs> Face of the great community. Yeah. Um. Oh God, that cold blue. I hate that shit. Woo! There we go. No. Let's uh. Let's make it. Let's do. Do like right there. I think it's pretty. I mean, I think it's a little lighter than my normal skin tone, but it's also a little oranger. That's probably good right there. We're working on 30, 3300 Kelvin. And we'll increase the brightness just a little bit. 25 seems like a lot. I'm going to stick with 20 on that one. We'll do it like here and we'll see if the eye contact, eye focus doesn't change up enough. Maybe, maybe it wasn't triggering well because of uh, how everything was working out. It is very fucking bright though. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah. Scalera? I think it's Sclera. Sclera? Sclera. Right there, right? Yeah. Demos hard capped at three hours of gameplay. Better make sure you've got enough time for it. Yeah. 
Good luck. Good luck. Chaos. Sclera, the white part of the eye. That's how that works. So hopefully this will be fine. Mm. You guys can see my uh, my rim lights in the background. I've got one right here. Back, back, uh, back that way. Over, over that way. Back, back, back there. And I've got one over here. Over that way. And that's what fills in this beautiful fucking face. Ah, uh, but that that bitch is hard as fuck right now. Okay, well we're gonna try this, and uh, you know what? Change one thing at a time, right? God, it is bright though. God, it is fucking bright. Oh, well, you know, show business this is what we do. Bam! I think we're good. <laughs> sorry about that, gang. <laughs> fucking sorry about that. <laughs> um. The white part of the eye researches shit ton for a character creator. Right on. Uh, Roy, I almost tagged you in uh, something before we get right back into this. Uh, somebody was like buying a new asset in uh, what's the 3D program that you work in? I forget what it was. I think it was the same one that you worked in. Not Daz. We haven't done the kill me softly yet, Striker. I'm sorry. Blender. Blender. It might have actually been Unity, but I think it was Blender. Um, let me get back to the Killing Me Softly, because I absolutely, totally forgot about that. Striker, sorry. It was Blender. It was like buying a new asset in Blender, and it was like, you son of a bitch, you better fix everything that I have an issue with right now. And I was like, is that is that right? Is that how that works? <laughs> Roy? <laughs> I'm sorry, Striker. Um, I just really, I just really did not want to do the... Joseph is a good guy. Killing me softly. Here we go. Killing me softly for Joseph. I'll give you multiple takes on this one. Here you go, Striker. And because it's so short, which is very nice, because then I can make eye contact with you guys and make it super, super fucking uncomfortable. For those of you who don't know, killing me softly is I have to say whatever you guys want within... Oh, my God. Within a reason. I forgive you. With the baby voice, let me get it in the baby voice then. A couple takes on it. Joseph is a good guy. Joseph is a good guy. Joseph is a good guy. Joseph, eh, he's a good guy. Is that what you wanted? Did you just cheat your way into a killing me harder striker by timing it? We need to figure out ways to stop you. We need to figure out ways to stop you and your fucking crimes against the couch, sir. <laughs> the sovereign couch would not take kindly to these fucking measures. <laughs> Let me know, please, if that extra light doesn't stop it from autofocusing on my goddamn face because it is bright as shit and it kind of hurts my goddamn eyeballs. Strikers are saying <laughs> adapt and overcome. <laughs> Can somebody kill Strikers? Uh, killing me softly, please. Thank you. Uh, let's get back into this game. I suppose I had best. Uh, <clears throat> I suppose I had best start preparing for the next service at once. Ah, what's that? Oh my! What is a child doing here all alone? I should probably yeet that into the fucking next universe. I just dropped my controller. Oh, my back! My back! Child, how has Texas already not taken you out? Uh, what is the matter, child? <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Is it still not- is it still blurry? Did it blur up on me like that? Did it really blur up on me, even with all these fucking... All this massive light in my eyes? It's my mama! She's gone! I can't find her anywhere! Well, camera and blur as soon as I stepped away. So maybe it's not a lighting issue then. Maybe it's something I gotta figure out. Come back, mama! Don't leave me here! Oh! Won't you come with me? 
Now, now, let's dry those tears. Why don't I help you look for your mother? Boo! <laughs> oh God, green path? I can I can get a little green path from that, yeah. Of course, my child. The sacred flame will show us the way. I just need to eat your grapes, your your eyeballs. Though I should be preparing for the service. No. I simply cannot abandon this poor boy. If I hurry, I should still be able to finish everything in time. You gonna go to sleep now, Roy? We'll take it easy, man. Good night, dude. Utilize each character's unique action to overcome any obstacle. Try pressing X in front of a town person. Boy, strength. Guide this individual? I feel like you can guide townspeople and they will follow wherever she goes. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. I'm gonna have to remember places and people and things and names and stuff. That's gonna be, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh boy. Ah, oh boy, it's gonna be bad. Good day. The holy blue fire of Alfric protects us, and leads us through the darkness. There are rumors, however, of heretics who worship a black flame of evil. I can guide you away from the black flame of evil. I don't think I'm going to. I don't really know how it goes. Guide! Must be level 15 or oh, Jesus! Summonable at 8. Mental augmentation. What the fuck? Strength skill. What the fuck? Must be higher level. Mm. Excuse me? Well, I, did, I did see a treasure chest over here. A healing grape. Perfect. Good night, Roy. Take it easy, friend. Um, well, we in the church of the sacred flame worship the god Alfred. We also revere the sacred flame, the enduring symbol of his holiness. Did the camera get back on, on fucking focus here? Did it do it? Did it do it? Maybe not. How to tell? I can't tell. Looks like it might. Nobody wants to talk around here. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, 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 what was that? Was that... No, no, no chests. Picked up a few games on Steam because why not? Fuck yeah, Jack. What'd you get? Was it one of the ones that you've been waiting for or, or wanting? You had a few things on the wish list you were saying, right? You're in focus now. Yeah, thank you. Evidently, it has nothing to do with the light, and that light being that fucking bright kind of sucks. I'm not really digging it. It's It's way the fuck up there, towering over me. Looking like a real butt. I hate that voice actor. <laughs> Mama! Where are you? I'll save you all the fucking blubbering, probably. Guy! Child, come with me. I know a cliff I could bring you up to. Let the flame guide your path. Really? You're really gonna help me find her? Yeah. Just fucking stop crying. Hello. Many worshippers come to this cathedral to receive the guidance of the sacred flame. Alright, that's, that's cool. To Killer 7 off the wish list. Picked up Donny County too. Donny County is a good one. It's really fun. I, I watched Jen beat it uh, last night. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Not last night. The day before. It was fun. The sheer splendor of the cathedral always takes my breath away. Who are you? Glad to do. <laughs> Welcome to the cathed Grand Cathedral of Grand Flame Grace. Are you here for the church service? Nope. Nope, not me. I am guiding this child to the edge of a cliffside. The first cliffside I can find. Yes. <laughs> oh God, Striker. With the killing me softly, hold on. South of the cathedral is the city center. I hear the tavern there has the best meat around. Let's fucking go! I love a good mead, especially a honey mead. Ooh, uh oh. <laughs> Mother. As soon as I fucking say striker, I'll get you killing me softly. Cutscene starts. We're gonna we're gonna get you killing me softly before that cutscene starts. I will not forget this time. I will not. Trust me. Give me but a moment, sir. 
I also am going to turn down this fucking light now that it's so goddamn bright. Um, because <laughs> it is bright as fuck up in here. Let's turn this bitch down. Hmm. Let's do, we're at, I think we're at like 25. Let's do like 15. It's still pretty bright, but I think I've got enough contrast between my, uh, my dark and shiny hair and my pale ass European skin. There we go. Maybe a little bit of, maybe a little bit of uh, color right there. Maybe a little, not tan, but 3,200, 3,200 doesn't seem too bad. Yeah. Let's do, uh, let's do, let's do a, a fucking 13. 13, that's no, a 14, but whatever. We'll do that. That looks good. There we go. This is with it off, by the way. Not great. Probably not very good at catching my eyes. And then you have my rim light. My other rim light. Well, that one's kind of a fill, but yeah, you get it. All right, Striker, let's get that killing me softly going. Striker's Killing Me Softly says some stuff that I haven't read yet. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, crunchy grandma. <laughs> Joseph is like a really great guy. Nothing but good vibes from him. Joseph is like a really great guy. Nothing but really good vibes from him. Joseph is like a really good guy. Nothing but good vibes from him. Joseph's like a really good guy. Okay, nothing but good vibes from him. Is that what you wanted, you dirty fucking scoundrel? You absolute madman? You thief? <laughs> uh, well, given an opportunity to uh, change up the lighting, so that that was nice. That helped. <laughs> Yeah, but anarchy reigns. <laughs> Pretty sure that's a porn star. Anyway, let's get back into the game. But, uh, Young man. There you are. <laughs> oh. Sister Ophelia, how can I thank you for taking care of this little troublemaker of mine? Striker. <laughs> and you! How many times must I tell you not to wander off on your own? Actually. Uh, pray do not scold the poor boy. He was so brave and good this whole time. Between the 80 feet, 100 feet, maybe 150 feet maximum. Between the two doors that separated us. He had no time to. <laughs> Act up. Thank you so much. You were too kind, sister. Or too kind, sister Ophelia. I know how busy you are with your duties at the chapel. Thank you for helping me despite that. It is no wonder, though, I, that the Archbishop is so proud of his two daughters. T two daughters? Surely you must know that he is in forever boasting of you and your sister Liana both. D truly? All right. All right, Jack. Take it easy, man. Have a good night. Goodbye, Jack. Take it easy, friend. He, he, he does? But of course. But of course. Every, almost every time I speak to him. Come along now, you. Thanks, Sister Ophelia. Then it's back to home with you. Thank you. It's not the voice I expected. Thank you, Sister Ophelia. <laughs> <laughs> it was my pleasure, child. But do try to stay with your mother in the future, yes? Problem child right there. Problem child right there. Your Excellency. I will do all that I can to be the daughter you would want me to be. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, mm. 
If I might have a moment, sister. Uh oh. A right scoundrel we have here. Yes. Clearly at least 16 year old voice in this eight year old child. Thank you. <laughs> yes, might it be of some service, uh, my good sir? <laughs> Would you know where I might find His Excellency the Archbishop? May I ask who is looking for him? Ah, oh, pray forgive my lack of manners. My name is Matthias, a traitor with the Lionel Consortium. The Archbishop has generously deigned to... Deigned? 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 I think it's deigned. The Archbishop has generously deigned to... Uh, bah, 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 bah. I can't read for the fucking life of me. The Archbishop has gener... He's, he's, he did the Dane. He engaged in a transaction of sorts with us. <laughs> well, then. I don't know why that one was so fucking hard for me. <laughs> a traitor? I see. It's an honor to meet you, sir. I am Sister Ophelia. Oh. Finger guns! <laughs> oh, so you are Sister Ophelia. I've heard so much about you. Say it, Chris. <laughs> No, I will not. Is it bad that I imagine that kid had the same voice as Toad from Mario? Oh God, Toad from Mario. Toad. <laughs> Hello there! I, thank you for helping me find my mom! <sighs> Goddamn Toad. Toad sucks. <laughs> I can only do this voice for so long! <sighs> thank you, Mario! I'm sure I'm not peeking your audio! <laughs> <laughs> uh, when the Archbishop contacted me to request my services, he spoke much of his two daughters. I forget what this guy's voice sounds like now. I also heard that Sister Liana will be the next flame bearer. The realm is blessed to have such loyal servants. Socks, toad instead. Toes? Ew. Hello. It is, as a matter of fact, to equip your sister for her forthcoming journey that the Archbishop has summoned me here today. Toad's toes. Ah! I imagine Toad doesn't actually have toes. I imagine he's just got like a paddle. <laughs> just like, if you take that weird fucking Toad shoe off, it would just be like a... Like just a, just a straight up paddle right there. It's what it is. He's got like a fucking, uh... He's got like a, like a penguin flipper, maybe? I don't know what you would consider that. <laughs> Is that so? We are much obliged for your support. No, no. <laughs> Think nothing of it, good sister. It is the duty of the faithful to serve the church, as the church so tirelessly serves us. No. S sister Ophelia, you must come at once! Who was the cleric that said that? Is this one big toe? Uh, <coughs> God. Oh, that's disgusting. Is it? Is that why his name is Toad? He has two toes. He's Toad. Oh, God. Mm. Whatever is the matter? It's a disaster. Jesus Christ. Oh, Sister Ophelia. It's the Archbishop. His Excellency has collapsed! But With, of course, one big toenail. I, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to have to say it, but yeah, it would have to. Uh, wh what? I will, I will come at once! Uh, Master Matthias, forgive me for abandoning you when you have journeyed so far, but... No, no. Do not spare me a moment's... Uh, do not spare a moment's thought for me, sister. Pray go to the Archbishop's sides at once. Of course. I thank you for understanding, sir. Please excuse me. It does help when they do the little, you know, hey, remember this is what they sound like? <laughs> Disgusting. Archbishop, what the fuck, dude? What happened? What happened? Ophelia, please. Drawing idea. Oh, God, no. Massey, don't. No. Just fucking thumb feet. Feel please. Let me 
Uh, please take a moment to breathe. I think she said it, but I don't know if she said all of it or not. I was talking during that time. Forgive me, Liana, but His Excellency. Yeah, I thought so. What His Excellency needs most now is rest. Please try not to excite him. Uh, yeah, no, it might be a little hard. Of course. Forgive me. No, it's Leanna. Asshole. I don't remember my name. I'm your daughter. Yes. Sacred flame. Do not worry yourself, Father. I will perform the right without fail, just as you taught me. That is. Good night, Zach. Take it easy. Here. Thank you for being here, friend. Father. Father. God damn. Worry not, Sister Liana. He is only resting. Yeah, forever. <laughs> Night, Zach. Liana. Sister Liana, are you not well? I'm, yeah. I'm fine. I, I think I just need some fresh air. He took the long sleep, the longest of sleeps. Oh, he's, he's, a, he's a big man. He went down for a sleepy time. Yeah. Oh, well, rest up, buddy. Definitely don't ever come back. Because you were awfully creepy when we first met you. Although, in retrospect now, it, it kind of makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> her side at a time like this perhaps maybe when i chose to start her story i did not realize make for the hill overlooking the cathedral I did not realize it was going to be like hey guess what we're fully moving into a whole other character's arc oh okay i all right okay damn got it Cool. I mean, it's probably the best to do it this way, I would assume. If you continue north, you'll come across the cathedral. Okay, I came from there. I get why they do the NPCs at each doorway. You may think it's cold now, but this is a warm spring, Zephyr, compared to the town of Northreach. This is warm? <laughs> you want to know why I'm hiding here? Sorry. That's a secret. I guess we'll figure it out later? Next time, maybe? Or something like that? I don't, I don't know how quite that... How that quite works. Success. Up ahead lies the Cave of Origin. The holy ground contained the first flame. That's, uh... Oh, Jesus. I didn't expect to go inside. Okay. What's the sign say? I don't think this is where I should be going at this moment. Okay. I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm good with them kind of leading us along. Especially because it's a new area and everything. Hello, sir! Tavern patron. A magnificent cathedral, no? It's the main temple for the Order of the Sacred Flame. That's it. I know, right? The snow effect looks so good. Look at this. Look at this term key. Look at him. It's like a chimkin, but even bigger. I love it. Let me let me back here. I'm just gonna just gonna eat some term key. <laughs> oh boy. Uh oh. Wait, those people disappeared. Two people disappeared. Hey! Hey! Do a flip! I don't, I don't think she heard me. Do a flip! Hey, you should really do a flip. How are you feeling? <laughs> Ophelia? 
What? The fuck is happening? Uh, Liana. What am I to do, Ophelia? Um, okay. Father. My father is I thought she was like dying, like she got stabbed up here. I was like watching her die. I'm like, wait, what? Holy shit, they took out the father and then they took it out Ophelia or uh, Liana as well. Yeah, I love the Liana. bouquet. Thinking about what might happen makes me feel so scared, so angry that I I feel like my heart might just burst. Mm. But if that I sucks. fall to pieces now, yeah. everyone will lose hope. I must be strong. The right cannot be put off any longer. There are centuries of tradition we must obey. Tradition. But leaving my father behind without even knowing if I'll ever ever see him again. You won't. He's gonna die. He's gonna, he's gonna fucking die. You're in a JPG. He he don't fucking die. We are together in this. <laughs> we will find a way. Ophelia. Ah, white out. Remember the good times when Dad was alive? <laughs> it has been fifteen years since His Excellency took me in. Oh, that's probably the wrong voice to use at this current point in time. It has been fifteen years since His Excellency took me in. My family, lost in the war, was left with nothing. No one cared for me. Now then. Joss is starting to sound a lot more familiar than I'm... putting on. Do not despair, Ophelia. From today, we are your family. This is Liana, my daughter. Your new sister. <laughs> hey. dot, 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 dot. My name's Liana. You can call me Anna if you like. Anna in a snow village? Blasphemy. Huh? What's the matter with her? Oh. Liana, I'm afraid that Ophelia has gone through something very sad. So let us see that she is cheered once more. Together, in the light of the sacred flame, we will find happiness. Yes. Yes, Father. I'll be the best sister ever, Ophelia. <gasps> that, that, that. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable with uh, uh, Father Joseph, maybe, right now. My first days in the Archbishop's home, I kept to my room and spoke to no one. We, we forgot to yeet that kid off the fucking cliffside. It was she who brought who brought me out of my shell. Liana, my best friend. My sister. Hey, Feely. Don't you want to go outside? Um. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Would you want to throw a fucking child off the fucking cliffside with me? We can make it an annual tradition. Please, I just have to take you. To throw a kid off the fucking cliff? What? <laughs> Come, look and see. Look how far we can throw them. This way, up here. <laughs> the height will allow us to throw them very far. <laughs> Eat the child. Oh god. It's just a little further. Come on. We're nearly there. I have a whole baker's dozen of them. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> oh, Mossy. <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> oh, that was so fucking good. Oh, God, can we clip that, please? Can we get that fucking clipped? Or momented? Or whatever the fuck, whatever it was. Oh, that was so good. Oh, <laughs> oh that was so fucking good. Where are we showing him next? Yeet! <laughs> oh, fuck. Let's, I'm gonna moment that one. I'm gonna I'm fucking, I'll do it myself. Oh my god, that was fucking good. <laughs> Create moment. Yep, we're creating a moment right here. Everybody jump in. We got it. I don't, I don't quite know how the moments go, but <laughs> that was good. <laughs> clip in. I, th I think you guys can clip into the, to the this moment. <laughs> this is where I throw children off a cliff. Someday I'm going to be so strong, I'm going to be able to hit the top spire of the church. If there may be like a preemie or something. <laughs> Maybe it could become your favorite place too. <sighs> Ophelia's favorite line. <laughs> ah! Right, Moss? Oh god, it's that got me. That was good. Beautiful. Look at all the dead babies. Isn't it though? That's why I love it here. <laughs> They'll never know it's us throwing the babies from up here. Here, Peely. This is for you. Your first baby's free. It's on the house. So now, won't you play with me? <laughs> uh, still no. <laughs> Oh my Billy, God. Are you crying? Yeah, an excitement and laughter. No, I'm not. I'm not crying. No. Oh, baby! That's the sound the baby makes when it gets thrown from the sky. I'm not, I'm not crying, I'm a baby! We are going to be the best of sisters, Feely. I just know it. Phil, Feely, not Philly. Because nobody else has been ever named Philly. Nobody else. Not anyone. I've Not a single to... person. Liana. Poor dog. Then it's settled. None of them. Oh, next time I'll teach you my favorite game. And then No, you don't. I don't know what you're talking about, Striker. <laughs> After I lost my family, I was convinced it was my fate to be alone and miserable for the rest of my days. Until I found out about baby throwing. But Liana brought me out from under that dark cloud. And gave me the strength to start throwing babies. I, uh, I start living again. Sometimes you just need to throw a baby or two. That's what the church would want. Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Eat the bab. That sounds like a, uh, this sounds like an itch.io. A uh, fucking game. Yeet the bab. And it's essentially just kind of what, uh... <laughs> Striker. It would be essentially like the, uh... Smash Brothers beat up the sandbag and see how far you can fucking beat it up. And send it. <laughs> With the bab. Uh... I'm sorry for running off like that. And I will return to Father's side and stay with him as long as I can. <laughs> Pray do that, Liana. He will rest all the easier knowing you are with him. Sometimes he's gotta eat a bab. The Archbishop's illness weighs heavier on Liana than anyone else. And yet... And yet she must hide that from all around her. Minus the baby she throws. Tomorrow she has set out to gather the uh, ember from the cave of origin. In that case, oh, that sucks, Blue. Thank you for letting me know. I don't know how to edit it or anything. Thank you for letting me know how that works for the moment. Uh, stuff. If I were to gather the ember in her place, then I could stay by her father's side. Of course. 
I cannot bear to leave him either. Either? Yeah, either. And if someone else were to gather the amber, that same person would have to go on the pilgrimage and complete the rite. I'll take a look. Thank you, Blue. To say nothing of straying into that cave without the church's blessing. I'd get more than a, just a stern lecture, that's for sure. Hmm. That's a doc. But also thinking at this time. <laughs> As I recall, the cave of origin lies within the foothills to the east of here. East. Got it. And so I must gather the ember, that I might perform the kindling in my sister's stead. This is the path that I have chosen. I alone must go. Unless, of course, you get, like, a party or something. Hmm? Even so, you would lend me your aid? I thank you, kind traveler. Surely the flame has guided you to my side. Now let us make for the Cave of Origin. It lies in the hills to the east of town. Ophelia has joined the party! I see the town of the east. Make your way for the Cave of Origin! Whoa, whoa, wait. What is this? What is all this? Oh, fuck. We going up the hill? We going up the fucking... Ophelia, did you bring a baby? You brought me all the way up here and you didn't bring a fucking baby, bro? What are you doing? Come on! Say you blue balled me, but everyone's blue here. Abba D, Abba Die. Abba D, Abba Die. <laughs> You're clipping it. Thank you, Striker. Well, gang, I think we have a good idea on what we need to do throughout the rest of our. We still can't travel back? Throughout the rest of our adventures. Wait, can we travel to the green spots? No. Cave of Origin Swacky? We definitely need to go to the Cave of Origin next. I don't know why we can't fast travel yet. But it's been a great day. It's been a great time. Love hanging out with all of you. We're going to be coming back to more of Octopath Traveler. I think we are, while it says three hours, I think technically we're probably like an hour, maybe an hour and a half in to the game because we've been fucking around for so much stuff but um oh shit there's a secret item somewhere around here uh but oh no i see it now that said i'm eager to return i think what we're going to be able to get out of this game is going to be pretty special pretty awesome inspiring plot. um Especially because the fucking graphics are so amazing. We haven't done too many quests, or uh, we've only been doing quests. We haven't done too many uh, combats and fights and bosses and stuff like that. I'm eager to see what it's like once we get two players into the mix. You know? Uh, this music definitely brings me back to a point where I'm like, you know, like uh, feel good, uh, Christmas. Maybe like Christmas in New York, like, you know, oh, everything's good now. That's what that boo, 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 boo. That's what that tune kind of pulls me back into. But I'll check into the moment uh, and I'll check the clip as well. <laughs> it was a fun game to watch with the uh, cast the Twitch brings. Yes, thank you, Ashen, by the way. Thank you for coming in, uh, hanging out and everything. Appreciate you. Um, Thank you for the follow again, too, as well. Striker, plenty of chaos from you with the oof, 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 oof. Uh, but I must go. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Today is currently Sunday. Uh, so just a couple days away. Mossy, glad to see you here. Thank you so much. Uh, for everybody else who joined in from uh, the raid from Demote and just showed up just on a whim, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. When we're starting a new game, seeing the support of you guys really fucking helps. Thank you. I'll see you guys later. Uh, I'll see you on Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, hop into the Discord if you guys don't haven't already. Um, exclamation mark Discord and chat if you haven't been able to uh, join yet. Love to see you there. Bunch of cool peeps. Bunch of chill peeps. Uh, but I'll, I'll see you on Tuesday. We're going to do more of this. I'm excited to get a lot more of the, the crunchy combat 
multi attacks, all sorts of stuff. I'm I'm eager to see how the the combat system works, I'm including the story system, because it kind of it still confuses me in a way that I'm like, wait, so you can start literally anywhere and still pick up on story paths and stuff? How do they program that? I don't I don't get it. But I'm eager to find out. Yeah. Have a good one, everyone. Hope you had a great weekend. I'll see you on Discord, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Take it easy. Beep. Bop. Boop.